Sometimes I did my balls in buffalo sauce. You think Sometimes I dip my balls in buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? So tell me, beauty, if you want this bacon. Cause when the sauce is this hot, there's no love making. Cause I dip my balls in buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? 
The night is cold and we're all alone Just remember when you're down there Don't neglect the bone Cause I dip these two in a sauce for you But if you go too low You'll be licking my poo What's up then? Jones, have you ever trimmed the cabbage line? Diced the devil's onion ring? Parted the red sleeves? Have you ever eaten ass before, mate? Oh, yes. I do love such a thing. Good, good. So, Jones, considering we are going to have to wait hours to only be violently slain by invading hordes, would you like to eat my ass? Oh, no, 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 mate. Me mum wouldn't like that much. Well, what a chest, Johnson, over there. Right. Johnson? Yes, sir! My God, man, I'm right here. You don't have to yell. Yes, sir! <sighs> Johnson? Yes, sir! Have you ever eaten ass before? Uh, I don't... I don't believe I have, sir. Would you like to eat my ass, Mr. Johnson? Um, but I, uh... Oh, don't make me make it an order, Private. Ooh, I just want your attention. Do you want to play with my balls for that rackingly retention? Detention, I'm going to put you in after school. Did you know, motherfuckers, that we're all cool, cool? For you with a box motherfucking machina crew. It's machina, filthy. It's fucking machina. How are you guys doing tonight? God damn it. What's up, stinky beard? Well, dip your balls in buffalo sauce and come join us. Yo, how's the music levels, everybody? How's the music level? I don't want to be overwhelmed by the vocals, darling. Pumpy, you, sir, are on thin ice. Coffee. How's everybody doing tonight, dude? Thank you for being here, you guys. Hi, Scorpion. How are you doing? I saw. <laughs> I enjoyed playing with you as well. You should play with our... Uh, well, <laughs> you should play with our privates tonight. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I fucking love you guys. So, Filthy... Yes, I will speak about myself in third person from time to time. Filthy is about to get real busy, y'all. I have to supplement my income with some hard fucking work. It looks like I got a job, but I don't know what that means for the stream right now. I'm gonna keep producing because I've got already like an awesome, awesome people who are helping me. We'll see what happens. Bear with me, please. I can tell that is your live or is it still a video? Oh, no, this is live, my friend. This is live. I've got, look, I've got plenty of videos I can show your way. Um, but, you know, we'll get into that later. I enjoy doing sketch comedy and, like, robot chicken type stuff, adult swim type stuff. So as you stay in the stream, you will see more and more of these things. Not, not a big deal. Just sometimes there's just, like, some stupid meme shit, you know? Ah, I'm gonna lick my own asshole. Just looking for those pork channel, Gary. Ah, yes, taking fiend. This is the illusion that we mean to practice. Does that even make sense? No. I, th I feel like this is a little too loud. It's such an amazing fucking song. Guys, we're going to throw on some Rocket League here in a bit. I've been getting some pretty epic coaching. 
and I'm even, I believe, a different player than, than last you saw me, even though we're doing the stream thing. How do I do what, my friend? Good, good. Spent most of the day on the phone today trying to get Menace sorted with a new bed. Not only has he broken his computer chair, he is breaking more slats on his bed than last night. I heard the couch make an ominous, and he's getting bigger and bigger, dude. I used to fuck my parents' shit up. I used to fuck my parents' shit up, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it, it, was, it wasn't good! Rated X. Um, all of those edits. I got a I got a stream deck and I just make scenes, bro. So I've got like hundreds of scenes on this thing. Um, but it's about to get kind of crazy taking Fiend because I'm I'm actually producing an interactive sci-fi comedy sitcom, which eventually is gonna star you. No shit, dude. Consider it like a choose your own adventure, but live. And uh, we're just working that shit out right now, and I think it's very well done. I think it's very well written. I think it's very funny as well. Yeah, well, thank you, man. I'm glad you appreciate it, dude. Stick around, Taking Fiend, because it's like, we like to wean out the people who, like, come in and are like, and are like, oh, fuck this, because whatever. They saw me light a fart on fire or whatever. I personally think it would be, if I saw that on Twitch, I would be laughing my ass off and I would be interested, like, is this person just a jackass all the fucking time? Thank you for the fucking follow, dude, I appreciate it. I'd be like, is this asshole a jackass all the time or is there more to the stream? And I would find that there was a lot more to the stream, actually. We do a lot of different things. Thank you for the follow, dude, I, I greatly do, I greatly appreciate it. On Tuesday, we do philosophy nights, dude where we actually talk uh, uh, very intently on deep philosophical concepts. Oh, the sound defects, that's a good one. You know what I wanna play right now, guys, though? We could play some rhythm and stuff like that in a little bit, where is it? I want the Pixies right now. So that, my friends, is, is what we're gonna do. That sounds good too, and I wanna play some Rocket League with you guys. So yeah, Tuesdays we do a philosophy stream. I am producing a ton of shows. Taking Fiend, one of these shows I'm producing is called Hidden Valley. I'll show you an episode right now. Last time on Hidden Valley. I have risen like the phoenix to execute my revenge. But I can't fly coach. I'm allergic to poor people. First class, you will smuggle nano rancher device in your Hidden Valley. Whose fart box do I have to tongue punch around here to get a white thin? Iris, what a lovely surprise. No, mother. A lovely surprise was when daddy caught you in the pool house doing your fourth German Goo Girls shoot. Treat this badass blunkin' bitch like a GameStop stock. You have to get on that plane, Stanley. Andrew 7B, sir. Andrew 7B, sir. Don't disturb my friend, he's dead tired. I'm gonna take this valley back. Dude, taking Fiend, like that's exactly what you did is so cool because that's what exactly what I want. I want people to look at a clip and just be like, what the fuck is this shit? And then come in and chat and actually see what the stream is about because it's a lot more than just gadgetry and and shenanigans even though there's a ton like you'll you, you should enjoy yourself dude but this is also believe it or not a motherfucking wholesome place where if your back's against the wall and you're feeling bad about something you can come in and share your story with us and we're very likely to give you a uh, a, uh, a, a, a a loving ear and some pragmatic advice no shit but we do a bunch of different shit here nothing really overwhelms anything else right what's up proxy hey philipsy dude how are you doing, man? How is everything? It's good to see you. I have so many questions. Ask away. I'm a fucking egomaniac, so of course I can keep talking about myself. Bye, viewers! Suck my asshole you don't like it! Get out of motherfucker! Now you're taking Fiend. I want you to stay, baby. Guys! We do some tape. Scroll some tape. I gotta have me. Scroll some tape. I'm five minutes in and I'm more lost than I am in a stream that I've ever been watching for six hours. Hey, that's okay. You might find some, hi, hi Spray. You might find some sort of semblance, some sort of like sanity here in a little bit. It's fucking doubtful because this ain't your mom the stream, baby. Rings on the China, never met it before. Who cares? Fiend, I forgot to take Fiend, one of the best, Fiend, one of the best things, Fiend. 
you already did it, I think. Did you type in exclamation point cash me in? Let's start off the evening right, dude. Let's give you your fucking gift. Thank you so much for being here, dude. I fucking appreciate it. I, uh, I'm very appreciative of your energy, dude. Thank you for that. Um, so let's give you your gift, yeah? Exclamation point, cash me in, all one word, in the chat. Exclamation point, cash me in. All, you are on the hook now, my friend. Um, find sanity here. You mean find someone else's sanity after they lost it? Hey, that sounds feasible last week on the back room. <laughs> doing a lot of different backroom shit and co comedic backroom shit. I, God, I didn't want to give it away, but I, I have some sketches coming for you guys. I got you. You got it. You got it, Fiend. I got, I got, uh, yes, you got it. And I'm going to take care of you. Give me one second. I got some more sketches coming for you guys. So I'm really excited. Philipsy, I want to know how you're doing, brother. It's been a while and I hope you're well, dude. I hope you're happy and healthy. Thank you for popping in, dude. All right. Stockish. Wait, Stockish Yoda. Wait, wait. God damn it, Ray Brag, you're all thin on, sassy. You know that you're safe here. <laughs> you're so safe. Here. Thank you for calling DoorDash. This is filthy. Oh. Taking Fiend, like it or not, you are the newest member of the Filthy Few, and we are very happy to have you, my friend. What did you just watch? Such questions have plagued mankind for eternity. Guys, let's throw on some Rocket League so I can beat the fuck out of you, GCs. How about that? Come on, GCs. Come on, GCs, I'm a new player now. Thank you, Steve Dogs, I love you! See ya! Butter Chicken Bucket! <laughs> what up, Chicken? How are you doing, dude? Dude, I, who knows what you just watched, homie? I'm throwing on some fucking Rocket League. For you guys that want to join us on Rocket League, it's private matches. It doesn't matter if you're a bronze. It doesn't matter if you're an SSL. We want you in here. The only caveat is no salt. If you're going to be a silly little bitch, you're going to be treated like a silly little bitch. And we just going to boot you out. Take the high ground. See? No, thank God. <laughs> hmm. A butter chicken bucket sounds fucking good. I bet. I bet he is. <laughs> I'm doing well, homie. I love salty food. Oh, salty food is great. Can I join? Absolutely, a thousand percent. Do you do gymnastics or something? I'm a martial artist, man. <laughs> okay, hold on, you guys. Guys, thanks for being here. I, man, this stream is so important to me. It's, it's, it's such a big, huge part of my life. So you guys being here and showing up just makes my night. And I love ya. So, yo, Chicken Biscuit, dude, I'm shooting some more sketches. And a couple of the sketches are going to be comedic sketches based on the back rooms. How cool is that, right? Like little vignettes. Maybe, maybe, fuck. Maybe, maybe one of my shits will maybe go viral one day. Or maybe I'm just a fucking hack who's convinced that he's talented. I don't fucking know, man. Who cares? I'm having a good time right now. All right, let's throw this bad boy on real quick. I love you, Proxy. How are you doing, man? Holy guacamole. Oh, <laughs> what's up, Nitro? I don't even know what's happening, homie, but do you like the pixies? You should indulge a little bit. You should indulge a little bit. I like your I like your name, Nitro Vex. Do you watch Vox Machina? Have you guys been catching up on that at all? It's pretty fucking good. Flair, good to see you, dude. I 
I'm doing well, Proxy. My shit's about to get, like, really fucking busy. And I don't know where it's gonna leave the stream just for right now, because I'm definitely not giving up on the stream, but I got to make money, motherfuckers. Um, Fiend, when you're ready, you tell us uh, when you want to come in, and I will give you the deets, my friend. Um, that being said, yeah, dude, I've been getting coached by Dubs, and he's such a great fucking teacher. It's, like, ridiculous, dude. He's, he's just very, he's very nurturing, but, like, not in a bullshit way. And, uh, it's been getting me to improve. I'm back on the Octane. I've turned down my steering sensitivity from 1.8 to 1, I think I'm at 1.5 right now. Because I was under the misunderstanding that, like, well, I could just work my way up to, you know, building the moves well. And it was just, it was stupid, right? So, um, yeah, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm having a good time. I was kidding about the GC shit. I'm, I'm still only a diamond. But I think you guys will see some improvement from the last couple streams. A few months ago, Tuesday raided you, and I was like, very cool. I'm glad you're back, dude. Is your beard bigger than your schlong? Absolutely, homie. I mean, look at this fucking thing. Come on, dude. You really want a dick this big? Oh, look at this thing. It's like a fucking... What the fuck, man? Come on, man. Yes, it's bigger. I mean, are we so... Okay, uh, I'm not going to show you what my dick looks like, but I'm fucking fine. <laughs> a stream that will pair well with my uncle. Ah! I'm on, invite me next game. Well, you gotta come in, homie. It's it's filthy as the name of the game and filthy as the password. Hey, big man Tony sleeps with the fishes, with the fishes. I want you to know that. <laughs> what is this stream, homie? Bro, like, I don't even, I mean, like, what is this fucking stream? You always do the same thing. It's always the same thing, bro. Okay, okay. I tell you what, bro, tonight, we get hooker. Chende, baba. But not ordinary hooker. Hooker with big breast. And then we take snow white horse, bro. And we sprinkle in between titty. And how you say, how you say? Motorboat? Then sometimes you get on mustache, so you need <coughs> snort out, but voila, you have fresh line in between who care titty. Nothing like it, bro, I swear to God. If you want to ride, don't ride white horse. If you want to ride, don't ride white body. Don't ride my white body. Don't ride my white body. Hey, Tony, I appreciate that shit, homie. Yo, how is the music, you guys? Um, like I said, it's following for the rules. No salt, guys. We're happy to have you. I'm rocking my white octane. We don't only do this shit. Yo, big man Tony, do us a favor. Do us a favor? First, I owe you a gift, my new friend. I owe you a gift. Besides that, we're gonna get you your gift, but besides that, my homie, do me a favor. Look at the front page, dude. I'm producing a ton of shit. I've got a podcast, I got sketch comedy. We're, we're, we're venturing basically into making like, I would say kind of like an adult swim show, but live and interactive. Gibbo, I saw you, dude. How are you doing, dude? And I'll be back. No worries, dude. Tell me how it is. We fucking love, we love South Park. I'll tell you that much. But either way, man, I'm, I'm really happy you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Um, you said, oh my goodness gracious. You, <laughs> well, hell, he came out like a bad out of hell. God damn it, it's just like shooting gophers in fucking Beggar's Canyon. Whatever the fuck, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm an asshole guy. What's up, Joe? Yeah, I'm happy and healthy, brother. Thank you, man. Sorry about that. That was my bad. Look, I'm gonna concentrate. We're gonna fucking... We're gonna push this up, dude. I'm uh, not gonna lie. I saw your hat and I was like, look at this guy. Look, he's he's got swag, but yeah, I'm staying... I appreciate you, homie. Look, dude, there's a lot of shit, dude. I'm... I'm... Oh, shit. I love this song. Uh, a lot of stuff that I'm doing, dude. I'm trying... I'm trying to go super fucking professional on this thing. And it's gonna take a while, but I have... I have a lot of good ideas uh, how to possibly get 
success on this platform. But I gotta tell you guys something, man. Success is merely showing up through adversity, my friends. You know, the, the results matter, but, but probably not as much as you're making them out to matter, my friends. So give yourselves a little bit of credit. Stay kind to yourselves. That was close, brother. That was close. Fuck! God damn it, Proxy. Nice shot, that was my bad. Yeah, Fiend, so, so the code is this. Filthy is the name of the game and filthy is the password. And it's a private match, so fucking hop in here. If we get filled up, my friends, if we get filled up, we just rotate people out so everybody gets a turn to play, right? But mind you, we tend to get some pretty fucking amazing players in here and I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it because not only do I learn, uh, but you know, it makes, it makes for, for good stream, right? There it is, my brother. Way to be there. Excellent positioning. I like that. It's really hard to be successful on streaming on Xbox and making progress, but the grind is real. So, Fiend, I started out on um, I started out on a MacBook Pro with a fucked up graphics card. My fucking stream would die about six times a night, and like if I was lucky to build up to like 12, 13, maybe even 17 people. It, it would die and they would leave and I would have to start my stream again and keep going So it's like it is a grind for sure and to uh, what up Andreas and to answer your question Yes, I'm on a PC and I personally think like if you want to do like pretty amazing shit with your stream Like I do recommend a PC But there's a lot of shit that can be done just streaming from the Xbox and stuff like that my friend What 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 we need is we need brands, right? Make sure you're uh, Whoops I fucking hate when that happens. Make sure uh, uh, you're catering to your brand, dude. I guess we're going to hear it again. It's a great song, though. Um, it's really important to come up with a brand, dude. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, what else? Reciprocate. You know, you got to reciprocate to your viewers, dude. Um, just a lot of different things, man. If whatever questions you have, I'd be... Uh, <laughs> that's not a problem, dude. Whatever questions you have, I'd be willing to uh, to answer for you, man. Oh, Brand, yeah, so so check this out, dude. This is a fucking age of convenience for everybody, right? Um, so, wait, Chicken, Chicken Bucket, do you stream? Chicken, what do you do? I wanna hear you, Chicken. I, do, you have, do you have something that you're doing? Cause I wanna follow you and stuff, man. Hi, Cranberry. I don't have TikTok. Well, look, whatever it might be, dude, most of the stuff I can get for Twitch, and, and I agree, and it is a fucking grind. It doesn't matter where you're at, right? This business is gonna give you back what you put in, right? And sometimes it can be extremely fucking tough. Um, that MacBook was a real piece of work, melting down every other 15 minutes. Were you there for that? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, the, be the best thing is, look, the, I, I, one major component to the, enter pardon me, to the entertainment industry that is happening and is gonna happen even more is, you know, just the amazing potential of interactive entertainment, right? So the more interactive you can make your stream, and it it's, look, it can start with the streamer and being interactive and stuff like that. That's a big deal, of course, but, there's also like so much. There's also like so many different things uh, that you can incorporate, right? So, hi, Jeremy and Guardian. I love you guys, man. Um, so just use your mind. Open your mind, Quaid. Go after your hobbies or whatever. So what I mean by brand is you need to make something relatively definitive for people to come be comfortable with, right? My brand is the Filthy Jester. That, that I'm grateful for the fact that that allots me opportunity for diversity in my craft. Like I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm the filthy jester, right? But let's say you're a huge fucking football fan, right? Let's say the Raiders are your favorite fucking team. You eat, breathe and shit them, right? And you know everything about the Raiders. Then your fucking channel should be a Raiders channel, right? Because Twitch is all about niche shit. It's all about niche shit. It's not, it's not easy to get people in and it's and it's considerably harder to get them to stay, right? So if you incorporate a hobby of yours or something like that, right? 
Um, it, I think it's quite important. Um, I think it's a, extremely important because when you have a brand, people find it more comfortable and more easy to stick with you. I love the color purple, so I... Oh, you mean the movie? I love Whoopi, too! <laughs> Sometimes she goes off on the deep end with that politically correct shit, though. Uh, you weren't talking about... You weren't talking about the... Okay. 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 Uh, you wasn't talking about the movie! So, purple can be an amazing fucking theme. Purple can actually be an amazing theme. Let me tell you why that's so fucking amazing. It is simple as fucked. No, Guardian. No, Guardian. It is simple as fuck. Okay, I I like that a lot, dude. Like it's it's usually usually you know I I'd be I'd be alluding to something like more specific, more niche, but you can absolutely totally do a theme about the color purple. But here's the thing, this is what most people misconstrue. And all you fucking streamers out there, listen up. You know, you misconstrue the facts. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for the bits. I love you. Thank you so much. How is your life? I hope you're good. Um, so the thing that people misconstrue is that they can just fucking come up with like a good name and that's it. No, that's not it. If you're going to make a theme, you need to make your whole channel about that, right? So... So in regard to purple, pur like purple's great. Like it's wide out there and everything, but like all your bonuses and benefits for your people are gonna be like purple things, right? It's fantastic because you'll also have the opportunity for, for a lot of diversity within that, believe it or not, right? It, as long as it's purple, whatever, whatever reward people subbing to your channel are gonna get, because because mind you guys, that just just supporting someone just because you want to support someone playing games, like, that's fine, that's okay. But if you're a streamer and you want to start making some fucking money, reciprocate to your chat. What would they like? What would they like to gain from, the, from your channel as they're watching you? That's how you have to think. Here's an eggplant for the Christmas work party. Oh, man, I'm gonna make sure not to sit down. You know what? Hey, guilty, guilty. I never saw a color purple because I, I, I knew from a young age it would tear up my heartstrings and I, I haven't been willing because I know it's a, it's like, it's deep, but I'm, I, I would be willing to uh, guess that it's a masterpiece. So I'm, I'm, I have to see it. Maybe I'll see it with someone for the first time who hasn't seen it as well. Wow, look at that, my friends. So yeah, taking Fiend, like, like it, it's great. Like you can, you can give your people like purple anything. <laughs> so just don't mind me. Sorry, but I'm having a hard time understanding. That's okay. Um, so, so your brand is a theme. Your brand is your theme, okay? Um, do, do you understand that? Like what having a theme would be, right? Did you understand like the football reference and stuff like that? You can totally make your theme being purple and just just have it be that. Um, and when I said about reciprocating to your people, when I say about reciprocating to your people, you know, Twitch is going to consistently be going through shit. But what people need to understand is that this industry is going to, in my opinion, going to take on the form of it's going to be very trans formative in the industry itself for a long time but i do think it's going to delve heavily into interactive entertainment right so and no matter what that might be last stream i was talking about like a dead by daylight warehouse right where you've hired you've hired a production team to cast the illusion of infinite choice however however it's not infinite choice you know what i mean and you move your streamer or, or actor through the maze to the highest bidder, right? I think things like this are gonna become a thing. So so that being said, just the whole appeal of interaction in general, from chat to, uh, to streamer and, and vice versa, is gonna be a huge fucking thing. So we as streamers right now, considering this place is still the Wild West, need to think about like doing that if we can, but if we can't do that, how do we reciprocate? How do we give back? to our chat giving us subs, right? 
It, it, it can't just be, oh, like, hey, thank you, here's a cool emote. It can be like, like, it can totally be like that. What I'm saying is those days are fading. Those days are fading away. Just blind support and I get, oh, I get a cool fucking emote? Fuck that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to be coming to Twitch because of what Twitch is eventually going to be able to offer, right? And they're willing to pay, you know, like a net Netflix subscription for that if you're giving them stuff that they want. So this is what I mean by incorporating all of your theme and everything else into your stream. So they feel that, right? Should I add a face cam? Ideally, it doesn't have to happen. But in this day and age, it's advisable, right? Like, um, I would definitely advise a face cam, but for those of you that, look, I, I know firsthand about insecurities, about fear, about social anxiety, all these things, right? Like, I'm a mess inside a lot of the time. I'm so plagued by anxiety and fear and all these things. It's gotten a lot better through a lot of introspection and just, a lot of different things but that being said like i get like trust me dude if anyone ex understands anxiety it's me i get it guys so if you truly cannot if you truly cannot put the face cam on you do not need one it will if you want to grow influence your chances like tenfold it's it's gonna influence your chances a lot of uh of being more successful right <laughs> Give them channel point redemptions that you don't fill. Hey, it's gonna happen, Spray. It's gonna happen, my homie. Where do you where do you see? Where do you see the show? Where do you see the show? It's gonna be fucking glorious. And everybody's gonna be so happy. How I still don't understand why I can't just give people channel points, dude. I don't have affiliate yet, but I made emotes already and they're purple bot that's great! Stick with the purple theme, dude. I think it, I think it's a very good thing. Right? Because, I mean, like, honestly, also, who doesn't like purple? Like, really? I like purple. I think most people in their right mind would really like the color purple. So purple, listen, all I'm saying is this. The more you purple out your brand, dude, the more people will come. That's it. Where, where, where the, the antithesis of that is that not as many will uh, uh, be if you don't have a brand, is all I'm saying. But I don't know how to add a face cam on Xbox. That's what Google's for, man. Everything that you need is gonna be on YouTube and Google, my homie. You know, and if you can't, you can't. Uh, if you can't, you might want to think about adding like like uh, something you've drawn on paper, or, or, and you know, and um, and and just making it a stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Like a stagnant fucking thing. That's okay too. You know, here's the thing about like, I think probably most professions, but this especially, dude, you gotta acclimate here because the industry is ever changing. Um, and and I know through my experience, dude, like, like fuck, if I had, I, I had a good idea that I would be able to get by and get far just based on my personality and my charms, okay? And, um, you know, no, no matter what, like I was, I was misled. You know, I do believe I have a great personality. I do believe I'm charming. I believe I can hold a room and make people laugh and all these things, right? But boy, was I misinformed, right? Because it's not, a, for me at least, it's not enough. Or I'm doing something completely wrong by just, except for just being like a little bit edgy, which I enjoy, you know, I enjoy just like cutting loose with people, but we're good, we're good people in here. Um, so yeah, like that's another thing as well is tenacity. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Is uh is tenacity, right? It's uh it's extremely important in any business, in this business especially. When your back gets against the wall, guys, I fucking hate that so much when they fucking have a song and it's not fucking playing. Fuck you guys, dude. Um All right, we'll put this on. This is an awesome, this is an awesome fucking album. I think you guys will like this a lot. Um, but yeah, man, look, all the information got like, like fucking stream coaches, shit like that. Hmm. Fuck you, Spooky. Don't do that shit, guys. Don't do that shit. You know what I mean? Do not give anyone your fucking money when it comes to like giving you advice about how to make it as a streamer and stuff like that. All the shit is on YouTube, dude. All your shit is on YouTube. Do not fucking sweat it, right? 
stream fucking coaching. Fuck out of here, dude. Fuck is that shit? I'm gonna watch your stream, but I'm not gonna play right now. I'm going to try and set up a face cam. Well, there you go, my friend. And that's the thing, dude. Like, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of grind. But for me, this experience has been the most cathartic experience of my life. Um, I've been able to share myself with people who, like, you know, were strangers at first, and then I share myself, and we're not so much strangers. Ow. We're not so much strangers anymore. Um, you know, even beyond that. Hi, zombie. What would you say to boost my stream? I guess that would boost your stream? There, there is nothing, homie. There's no, there's no, there's no quick way. Content. Motherfucking content, dude. Like, and that's, that's all I know because I understand that most people just want to play games and interact with their people and make a fun show. And that's fine, right? And I want to say one other thing. If you're just a hobbyist, if you're just a hobbyist, that's the most noble way to stream, in my opinion. I am not a hobbyist. I want this to be a, a, a source of generous income for me eventually if I can. Um, but I, I'm also one to not compromise my integrity. And that involves, you know, like not using you guys and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, what is this, Chester? Wow, dude. There he is. There he is. There, that was close, brother. That was close. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Just wants to troll and lurk and participate. I don't want to hear it, coffee. There it goes, my brother. Good one, good one. Sorry, fuck, I should have been there for that. Good shit, good shit, good shit. I'm in goal, I'm in goal. I'm gonna back you. I know there's a delay, Guardian, but I'm gonna back you. I'm in mid. That's not bad. I'm gonna get at this. Get ready. Oh! I mean, like, what would let people enjoy or continue to come back and eventually stay and want to watch. It's the same thing of why people love art, empathy. Empathy, that's it. So for someone like me, it means being a real person and showing people who I am. Besides, like, like, cause my shit is like, I wanna entertain people with the craziness in my mind for sure. But I also wanna show people who I am. You know what I mean? Cause I'm proud of who I am. I'm a good person and I'm fucking eccentric and I'm crazy and, and I like people like that in my life. So the way I do it is I just, I'm me and this is a personality. Sorry about that, I rotated like an idiot. This is a, this is a persona. So it's not like fully accurately me, but it is pushed out, right? It's still me. So it's like, if I'm just myself and I find like-minded people and we love each other, my stream's gonna grow. But that, I mean, it's different strokes for different folks, man. That's that's the truth. It's different f strokes for different folks, but I will tell you, like predominantly speaking, it's like, I think it is like kind of meshing of personalities and, and what personalities mesh with, with other personalities and stuff like that. And then there's a bunch of bullshit on this, on this, on this uh, platform, right? Like motherfucking Twitch is like the socias and the greasers, dude. You know what I mean? Like there's those nerdy fucking, not like, I'm a nerd myself, but like nerdy streamers as like the kiss ass streamers who wouldn't dream that aren't authentic. Like if you're, if you're, if you're someone who's like a little uh, uh, repressed and stuff like that, but you're authentic, I don't fucking care. You know what I mean? Like I've, I've been repressed for a very long time. It's true. You know, but if you're not a demon, I love you. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, dude. All right. All right. <laughs> dude, thank you so much. To taking fiend, thank you, demon. Um, but like, here's the thing: like, like I I'm big on authenticity, so it's like, I'm just saying, if you're misrepresenting yourself inaccurately as, as not the person you are, that that's what I mean by the socias. It's it's an outsider's reference, right? And the socias in the outsiders weren't like that either. But I just like, you know, and then and then there's the fucking greasers, right? It's true. But there's also a lot of different facets to, 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 uh, 
to Twitch. You know, there's some people that will just go into a stream just to watch marbles fall all night. You know, like that's 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 a thing. Look, we'll play marbles, it's fun, so on and so forth, but like I think a few of these people get really fucking carried away, like as an addiction, right? So it's like in marbles, like, you know, those are gonna be the those people don't wanna watch other streamers, they just wanna watch marbles fall. Nerdy, geeky, all around freaky, that's what we like. Oh yeah, taking fiend. There's some amazing people in here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful, dude. Oh yes, dude, I love it. Buttery, where have you been? I love you, dude. What's up, ho? How are you doing, dude? Which one do you have on DVD? Yeah, give them some, Buttered, you're right. Give them something to look forward to for sure, but I gotta be careful with that as well. Cause I talk so much shit about everything, but in turn, it holds me accountable for it. Like I told you that I was doing new sketches. Now I'm like accountable to you guys, right? So it puts an extra fire under my ass. But yeah, like, like just, you know, keep, I, I would say keep it within, you know, certain constraints. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right, dude. That's that's why I say it, you know? Because I'm like, well, guys, like, there is this shit coming up. Oh, The Outsiders, masterpiece, dude. You have that on DVD? Fucking masterpiece, man. My bad. Uh, 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 the, it casted, directed, written, acted just brilliantly. And I haven't read the book, but I know the book is good as well. Yeah, Fiend, so, yeah, I mean, that's the, that, see, you stuck around long enough to, to see some awesome people in here. Look, man, I, there's a lot of great streams on Twitch, dude, like, there's a few of my homies that I go into their stream and I'm like, these people are so fucking amazing, but of course I'm gonna think that you guys are the best and, you know, I'm just grateful for that because that's mine. You guys are mine. I get to experience you guys. I have some ideas for some sketches. Do you really, Spooky? Yo, Spooky! So check this out as well, and I'm just gonna say this. So a couple of the sketches are gonna take place in the back rooms. Because I've wanted to do something with the back rooms, and I don't have any knowledge of how they put that shit together. I've got the mind for it. Like, I can direct the fuck out of something like that. I promise you I can make a fucking horrifying back rooms picture. Like, even a short film. But that being said, so I don't have the capabilities to do that, but you know what I have the capabilities to do? That fucking scuff-ass shit, like that Army of Darkness shit that I do. I'm gonna show you some stuff, uh, Spooky. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making uh, some Backrooms parodies. So I think that should be pretty fun. Ah, we're getting there, we're getting there. I just switched back to the Octane last night. And, uh, and turn my steering and my uh, driving sensitivity down because it was at 1.8 and it was killing me. So I can't wait to see, I save, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen now. I was forced to read it in middle school and hate it because I was forced to read it. It's so good, watch the movie. But I actually don't mind To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I don't know why you hated it, though, because it's like, yeah, To Kill a Mockingbird's a wonderful, wonderful, uh, a, a wonderful book, right? Absolutely. Um, but it trips me out that you just wouldn't like The Outsider. Was it, was it just purely because you are being told to? I can feel that. Good shit, Jeremy. Way to be there, dude. Great positioning. Ah, son of a fucking shit, dude. That would have been just, uh. That would have been just lovely. Nice shot, nice shot. We'll get him, we'll get him. Yes, I'm gonna make it funny. 
I think funny would fit the stream, but don't let me stop you from making something scary if that's what you want to do. I believe in you, homie. Oh, no, I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, dude, I don't have the capabilities to make something scary right now, right? It would take it would take a lot of, like, like technical knowledge. Speaking of, where's my, where's my video audio, homie, that came in the other night? It would take a ton of technical knowledge and other things as well, and that's what I was saying is that, hey, I'm fucking totally, like... Like, that, that guy made an amazing short film. Like, it's really fucking good. And what I'm telling you is, like, I am I believe that I'm capable of doing something pretty fucking good myself, right? On the thriller and horror tip. Like, I, I, I just know I am. That being said, I don't have the production capabilities to do that right now, right? If I did, it would be a different story. Like, I might actually make it. Yeah! 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 Ah! <laughs> so that being said, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some. Um, it, it's gonna be, they're gonna be funny sketches, and I think we'll be good. What would you say is a good face cam? You gotta do the research, man. I, I can't. I can give you I can give you like tips here and there, like out of the kindness of my heart, but like. You gotta do that little grindy shit. I did that little grindy shit for myself, right? But Fiend, it's also gonna help you, dude. Because when you start... Stinky, I love you, dude. What's your favorite local restaurant place? Oh, man. Nice shot, Buttery. I I'm a foodie, homie. Uh, but, but Fiend, and I'm gonna address that in a second. But Fiend, it's gonna help you because you're gonna learn more and more about streaming and what to do, right? All the information is out there. All right, so if you're gonna say favorite, my bad. If you're gonna say favorite, so Stinky, there's a steakhouse out here, and when my brother was in town last summer, him and I split an A5 Wagyu steak at, a, at like a fine dining steakhouse. That was pretty fucking good, dude. Like that shit melted in your fucking mouth, right? Um. Fuck, man. Like, if I had, if I had, like, because I'm in Los Angeles, I'm in Santa Monica, so there's plenty of great restaurants, right? But I can't necessarily afford the great ones, right? Close one. I should not be on that side. I'm sorry, said. I missed, I missed, I missed. Close. Good shit, good shit. Good rotation, Jeremy. You saw what we were doing. That was fantastic, dude. One called Smile and the other called Hiding. Yeah, man, I hear you. I have a few ideas for movies, too. Hey, bro, like, yeah, dude. Spooky, the thing is, man, if you, you could just, just get paid through your right, through your, 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 uh, your art. I don't know why you work that other shit, man. I really don't. No, you don't. Ah, that's almost there, dude. Yo, Jester, maybe you could host a Black Mirror-esque stream where you work out workshop ideas for horror shorts. Not only that, dude, and please, anyone who's got a lot of power and money out there, don't make this. Let me make it with you. Spooky, I've had this idea before. And we're just gonna we're just gonna say it. Well, okay, so you guys know that's fair. Who doesn't love meat that melts in your mouth? Exactly, exactly. Uh, there's so many wonderful restaurants out here, though. You know what I really want to try? I want to try some fine dining French, because that's one thing that I haven't done. Also, spooky, I want to try some, like, Bayou, Louisiana, fucked up shit. But, like, good shit, right? Like, alligator made in a certain way or something like this. So, spooky, another fantastic idea. So, we're talk we were talking, I guys, I talk a lot about the fact that I think the future of the entertainment industry is it's gonna be involved a lot in interactive entertainment and that narratives are gonna be made this way on live. They're gonna be made live. They're gonna have production parameters and story parameters, but these things are going to evolve live. That's where I believe the industry is gonna go. 
So that being said, can you imagine a Black Mirror at Twilight Zone like that with live interaction? I'm actually, I am making something like that right now, but it's a comedy. I keep rotating like an asshole, dude. I'm sorry. I gotta pay attention. That's a lovely shot, my friend. Close, close, close. No! We'll get him, we'll get him. Nice shot, nice shot. But yeah, dude, so that, that, that right there, and that's, that's much more complex, right? Because you've got to think of all the possibilities in regard to the endings and stuff like that. You have something like Twilight Zone or, 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 or Dark Mirror. Of course, it's contingent upon the writing and the setup, but that being said, it definitely gives the opportunity uh, to have a lot of shit going on, right? Like a lot of shit going on. That's why the back rooms is so good, dude. Great pass, dude. That's why the back rooms is so good because it's so fucking simple, right? I have a very important question. I bet you do, sweet tits. Let me hear it. What brand of buffalo sauce? <laughs> well, fuck, what are there? What are there? Oh shit, I didn't even see him. Nice save, sir. Studs. Now, Mr. Stubbs! <laughs> Stubbs! I can tell by the sound of your controller you play with the DualShock. I do, and I just bought one as well, dude. Stinky, do you want to play with us, dude? I swear to God, Bucker Buttery, I'm gonna fucking jizz on your face, dude. Frank's Red Hot is my choice, then Frank's Red Hot is our choice. Is that the tastiest? Do it, daddy. Is that the tastiest? The one that freaks me out is being in a forest, then looking up, and it's all inside a huge building. Well, I mean, like, that's the same, that's the same stuff, right? So another interesting thing to me, Spooky, is that it's six, nice save, it's 600 million square miles, and I looked up what the Earth fully was, and the Earth is 200 million, which is still a lot, right? But, like, that's like three Earths, dude. Oh, come on, how are you gonna steal my glory, dude? How are you gonna steal my glory? Look at this, though, I got Guardian, homie. We got three minutes, my brother, I'm gonna pay attention. We'll see what we can do. Buttery can fake, I mean, you can do it to a lot of people, I guess, but he fucking fakes me out in mid air. Like, how do you get so fucking good? That, and I know it can be done, obviously, but how do you get so fucking good that you're legit like faking people out by making new moves in midair. It is fucking nuts. Let's do this shit. Let's beat them sensely. And like two of your mom. That's true. It can it can work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's massive, but you know what the back rooms really is, right? No, I guess I don't. Is it was it alluded to in 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 Kyle Pixel's movie, which was fucking amazing? Very inspirational as well. I, I just love how he did it so much. Uh, was it alluded to like government type shit, right? It was alluded to, I know that. Probably pretty, pretty blatant for someone that follows the lore. Gave that away, but we're good. Get ready, get ready, Guardian. It's close. I'm defending. That's not going in. I told you though, I told you, I done told you it wasn't going in. I clipped it. I know clipped it. I know clipped it! All right, all right. Oh my God, nice shot, dude, Jesus Christ. Yo, no worries, Stinky. You're good, homie. Yeah, so I kind of, I, I kind of can't wait to hear what you say here, Spooky. Because like, here's the thing. So, 
So when you or when whoever turned me on to it, I was really intrigued. And this was this was extremely recently for me, right? I think my buddy Dickstown turned it turned it on turned me on to it. And we started discussing it, and then Spooky was telling me stuff. So there's two things about the back rooms, right? Number one, it's it's inundated with like kids who like, you know, think they you know are getting good shit going and it's not like it's kind of ruining it i i believe that as well but but let's keep in but something like like kyle pixels fucking thing should be taken as canon because it's so fucking good right so it's like i think backrooms should be filtered a little bit in a lot of respects but that being said um you know certain things should be canon like that dude's film like straight out should be fucking canon and other things should be even based on that. It's just basically random creepy pastas combined in one place separated by floors or levels. It's all random stuff submitted from survivors, but it's so structured that it's actually documented like it's a real place. I, what? But see, that's the thing, like the survivors, I'm sure, when did the survivors come into play? Cause I've seen the original post. And the original post is fucking great, and, and I can see, like, how it could be interesting to have, like, survivors and stuff like that, because you need food and shit like that. A lot of people are going to no-clip, like, I get that, but, like, again, like, like, the, 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 the scariest part of the backrooms is arguably that infinite, like, you know what I mean? Like, un unendless ending maze, like, that's the scariest part, right? But it's good lore. I, I think I think since this guy's movie, um, I think since this guy's movie that there's gonna be some major shit happening with it. Which again is why. Um, what's the lobby? Oh oh oh! In his movie, that's level zero, right? Level zero, right? I got you. So the random shit is submitted, but but if they, hold on, but if it's submitted, I hear I heard there's no way out of the back room. So how could it be submitted? buttery I've improved a little bit so I'm gonna pay some attention here baby ah, I was there there's a way out but it's not obvious a way back a way back to society because I haven't heard this You can unclip, but there's no exit. What does that mean? That you can come back like here, but you're still fucked up? Somehow, like some Stranger Things shit? What is it, dude? Dubs, I fucking love you, Dubs. I'm gonna be a beast in like three fucking weeks. I'm gonna be a motherfucking beast. I'm fine. I believe I'm finally gonna get champ after three weeks. Sorry about that. And we'll see what happens, but I believe that is a distinct possibility. Unless I fuck up like that and leave the goal totally um, unmanned because I had to go for big boost. Mmm, big boost. Look how Jester fucked that one up. Hey, Dubs, dude, wa watch. Dubs, watch if you can, bro. Because, like, literally, that, that made all the fucking difference is turning down the sensitivity um, and... and you know, also the maneuverability of the Octane as well. Like, it's, it's, it's been really good. It's been really good. And your instruction is second to none, homie. Seriously, bro. It's been so fucking helpful, dude. It slowed me down, it's calmed me down, but it feels right, you know what I mean? So... Good on you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Because now it's like I'm finally analyzing replays, but I get to do it with, like, a boss, dude. 
Yeah, it's great, dude. Titties in the sky, Dumpsies! Titties in the sky! I shouldn't have done it. I just wanted to hit it while I was saying titties in the sky. Cry. Ah! <laughs> what a save, dude. All right, buttery. Son of a bitch, sorry about that, buttery. I lost control. My instincts were decent, maybe a little cavalier. No, you don't. Gotcha, buttery. Oh, close, close, close. I'm in goal, I'm in goal. Good shit, good shit. Excellent, excellent. You see that, Dubsy? Taking my time. And then fucking us up to hell. It wasn't perfect, Dubs. It definitely wasn't perfect, but the but the but the thought was there, right? I gotta slow down, there's no one around me. Right? All good shit. And I fucked us again. I gave it back. But that's okay, I'm working on these things. That's what's important. I'm working on these things. Titties in the sky! Titties in the sky! Titties in the sky! Oh shit, I fucked Buttery up, I'm so sorry. I can't tell, dude, you're so good, I couldn't tell that you had that shit. My apologies, darling. Oh my lord, please. Please help me. Help me, titties in the sky, going for the big boost like an asshole, but I can also do this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit on my dick, I got gold, I got gold, Buttery. We're gonna do, we got 48 seconds, Buttery. I'm gonna do this, we're gonna do it for everybody. Yeah. Oh, shit on my ass, Guardian. How you gonna do that to me? God damn, Kai. 30 seconds. <laughs> Dubs! Dubs, I know I should have done titties in the sky, but I mean, like it was compiles. What's up, Shroom? <laughs> I should have done it's so hard though dubs when I hit when I hit the when I hit the car cam bro when I hit when I hit the fucking car cam it fucks me up but I'm still doing it like in matches and shit I've officially made it as a streamer got my first death threat the other day oh my god welcome welcome brother I've had plenty of those dude um but what you want to do with that shroom is you actually want to report that to the police because they will find the motherfucker well, that's a stretch. Most of them in the internet crime shit are just lazy fucks who just really don't give a fuck. Nice shot. What about clutch, dude? But that being said, report it anyway. Call the police and report them. I threaten Jester always. <laughs> You're different. You're different. But honestly, dude, I'm sorry that happened because it's like... Look, these are, these are sick fucking people or like really fucked up children, whatever the fuck they are, but it, it is, it is, it is like horrific, horrifically humbling uh, to uh, be on the other side of that, you know? It's like these people are not good people with the good time, but still, of course, even with the bad time, honey. Mm, mm, mm. I'm in goal. Good shit. Oh, Guardian wanted to go for the demo. He was looking at me. He was like, fuck this kid. I'm gonna grease this fuck. That's what Guardian would say. Guardian was like, I'm gonna grease this fuck. I'm gonna grease him. I'm gonna grease him. Ah, Sid, Sid, Sid. Ah, Sid, I'm sorry, buttery. I was there. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Did I fuck us? Did I fuck us? Nope, not yet, not yet. I tried, I tried, I was there. I'm not, thank you. I'm not too unhappy with that, to be honest, dude, because I didn't like fuck you up too much. Get ready, get ready. That's you, baby. I got goal. I'm back, I'm gonna back you up. 
Just take your time, take your time, you got room. Good shit, brother, just keep it up. I'm going. Ah! I'm out of position. I'm heading to goal, you do what you gotta do. I'm in mid. I'm going here. Ah! <laughs> I love this game so much, dude. I really do. I really do. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oh. All right, all right. Composure, composure. I'm in goal. I got 70. I'm good. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. What you gonna do? You gonna do that? Some of that? Uh. Not on my shift, motherfucker. Uh. What about that? Uh. Keep it together, Jester. Get the boost. Yeah. I'm heading back. I'm defending. Good rotation. Okay. Oh, that was close, dude. We're good. We're good. I'm a challenge here, so don't worry about it. Oh, look at that fake, Dubsy. Did you see it, Dubs? It brought me all the time I needed. I love you, Dubs. Good shit, good shit. Oh, oh, oh my God, you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Quip? I'm good, Scorpion. How are you doing, man? Yeah, so D Dubs, thank you. But like, that's that's the thing, dude. I love you too, Buttery. Thanks for joining us, dude. That That's the thing, is turning down... You were so right about that shit. Turning down the fucking... Um, the sensitivity makes all the difference, dude. All right, Guardian, have fun, dude. I love you, brother. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, well, I'm starting to, Dubs. I'm start. I'm starting to. I'm starting to like get dribbling and stuff down because I was I was on these crazy things for so fucking long that I think I think it kind of helped my instincts a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. I've spent the last few days playing on keyboard. Are you serious? Why? He is a fucking masochist. He's also so good at this game. All right, cool, Scorpion. I'll check it out, bro. Thank you, man. I am a terrible ones player. I just don't do it. It's so intimidating. believe you that it's fun nah it's just fun uh to like relearn how to play like i'm getting the feeling of hitting my first aerial again that's so cool dude well no aren't there aren't there like at least isn't there like at least one professional shitty rotation uh, on my part isn't there at least one professional that plays on keyboard and mouse like competitively Nice save, dude. That was really good. Oh, this should be fun. shit on your own play like that, dude. 
the best known are freestylers. I mean, these, you know, dude, we had some fucking freestylers come in the other stream, man. I'm so upset they never came back because what they were doing was fucking beautiful. Guys, come back. We want you in here. I love you. His dribbles are crazy. Titties in the sky. Okay, titties in the sky. Titties in the sky. So we got time, so we slow it down here. Oh god, I hate this so much. Dubs, it's I'm so worthless with it, Dubs. Tell me I'll get used to it, dude. Tell me I'll get used to it, Dubsies. Get it, get it! Yes! Ed! Nice shot on me. I hope I get used to it. Guys, everybody out there who doesn't know, I am I, I don't use car cam when I dribble and stuff like that, and I'm trying to get used to it, so. It's very intimidating. It's absolutely considerably imitating. God damn it, Jeremy, you're all shit on, Sissy! <laughs> like Evample? You'll be jo How do I do that? How do I how do I dribble like Evample? I'm actually not too bad a dribbler with the ball cam, but that's incorrect, right? High level people, like that's super incorrect. I don't want to be doing that shit, right? Dude. Oh God, why did I do that? That was close, buddy. There it is. Get in there, motherfucker. That's how dubs. That's what I was trying to do the other night, and I'm 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 pretty decent at them. That's where you're like, ah! <laughs> I can't help with a little bit of the free flip, dude. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, oh, okay, I thought he said to ignore him. You were right about everything. Is that what it's called, a hook power shot? But you were still right about everything that you said. Like, I'm not ignoring that at all. Watch this. Ah, fuck that. Close, dude. Whoops. Close. Oh! 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 Look at that fucking shot, dude! Said! Said, you gotta be. Oh my god, dude! How amazing was that fucking shot? He just shit on me. Said, you just done shit on the jester. <laughs> Said! You just done shit on the jester! Ah! Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good! Pretty good! God damn! Look at this man! That's what I needed. Missed it like an asshole. Should have waited a little bit, don't you think? Uh oh. No, Chester, you shit ass! Get it in there, Sid! Get it in there! Good shit, brother. Good shit. What can I do? What can I do? Now, here's the deal said. Oh shit, I thought. <gasps> what? <laughs> Does that even 
doesn't make sense. Is that it for you guys? My God. Hit hook shots are OP, but they need a lot of space. Yes, okay, fine, fair. Um, is anyone else wanting to come in? Yeah, 1v1's fucking, they're harsh, dude. They are harsh for sure. Because I might play some goddamn fucking casual or some shit if y'all don't want to come in and play it with Failthy. God! Alright, cool, man. Assless goats, best plumpkins by far. I totally agree. Quack, homework first, dude. I know you did! I know you did. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play a cash real quick. Whoops. And when you guys are all ready, you let me know. But I'm gonna play a cash real quick. Let's see what happens. Is Buffalo Sauce on Spotify yet? No, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna play it right now for you guys, cause, cause we can. You know, folks, it gets hot in here. You get preggers. So what up, Give on? My balls and balls well, listen up here, goes guys. Yeah. It'll hurt me. I gotta pay attention for the sake of this gentleman. I know you got it, dude. Oh, he apparently has it. <laughs> apparently he has it. It'll hurt me. The night is cold and we're all alone. Just remember when you're down there, don't neglect the bone. Cause I dipped these two in a sauce for you. What up, Lazarus? Hey, dude, I'm good, man. It's good to see you. Hey, Damon, of course I missed you. How are you doing, dude? Soft, yeah, not only that, soft and hard, Dubsy. Jizzling in your mouth, please. Find this at Walmart or the Scoville scale. So take it from me, don't use blue cheese. It's buffalo sauce. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you shouldn't have been there, but it wasn't bad. Balls, buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? Oh shit, we're gonna need some real music. Oh, oh, you fucking give up. I love you. What do you do? Have some don't spend them all at once. I love you. Nice fucking shot. What an angle, homie. Standing in line to see the show tonight and every mile on. You have some bits. Don't spend them all at once. I appreciate you, man. How are you doing, brother? You got 98 followers now? That's fantastic, dude. How often are you streaming, brother? That's no easy feat, my friend. No easy feat. Nor is this. So let's make a pay. <laughs> God damn it, Kaledio! What's up, ya buffalo sauce ball? Having motherfucker. I love you, dude. How are you doing, man? Kaledio! Can I get a shout out for the fucking insanely magnificent? Oh, I, I thought. You thought. I thought. You thought. We thought. We all thought, motherfucker. See? Shadow defense, baby. Dubs has taught me so well, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even. Yeah! Oh, shit on my dickhead! You ain't got shit, motherfucker! Eat my ass! Oh, close one. Well, this guy's just trying for demos? Don't do that. Oh, wow. Well, you also don't want to fucking back up like that, homie. Drive straight forward, please. Straight forward. You know, just like we want our women to talk to us. Straight forward. We're not mind readers. We're not mind readers, chicks! We're not mind readers, chicks! Talk to us like human beings! We can't read your thoughts! We really do care! No, 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 no. Watch this, look! Oh, he's rotating okay. Oh, 
I think, did I fuck him? I don't think I fucked up too bad there. I did though. That was a nice shot. My bad. Nice shot. There is a lot coming out right now. Of the clock. Did, do, did, did. He, well, how the fuck? Is he gonna really blame me? This piece of shit? Jesus Christ. God, I hate people. I really do. But you know what? Like, this is, this is that person's character. You know what I mean? He's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah! That's all right, that's all right. We're ahead, we're ahead by one. I should not be back all the way, so I'm gonna remedy this. If I, if I had done good rotation, we wouldn't be in this position right now. And that is a nice shot, my friend. Well, I mean, he was he he wasn't he wasn't impressing me at all to begin with. So I'm good, Coletti. It's good to see you, bro. Padme is Boba Fett's side piece. I you only know that because you're Yoda. You only know that because you, sir, are Yoda. Watch this, Tubsy. Ah. Uh. I mean, sometimes when we say watch this, it actually works. What's the, but what, but guys, for real, what's the last thing a redneck says before he dies? Hey, y'all, watch this! Yep, y'all know it, y'all know it! Um, so I just got turned on to a program called uh, Letter Kenny. That's a good shot, that was really sick. Hi, Ryan. I just wanted to stop by, how are you doing, dude? Hi, Steel. Thanks, Tubbs. I, honestly, I owe you so much, man. Your, your teaching has helped me so fucking much, dude. And the fact that, you know, we're just sitting sitting down. Yo, what up? Uh, what up, Grunted? I'm getting closer to the top 100. I fucking don't doubt that, dude. You know what I'm happy about, Steel? I know you were wanting to play with, like, a bunch of people for a while. And it was kind of tough. And I'm so glad. I like Ohio, dude. I like Ohio a lot, and the other, and Tripped, and all the other homies too. I'm so glad you guys are playing with, you're playing with them, dude. I'm doing well, homie, it's good to see you. How are you, man? Yeah, dude, Canadians and Letter Candy Funny, it's just a well done show. I gotta tell you, it's a well done fucking show. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I, I think I. I'm good, man. Funky, how are you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. Um, guys, also, let me know if anyone wants to do some fucking privates. Oh! Oh, look what he did! Get in there, man! That's you! That was a close one, buddy. What a fucking play. Nice shot, pal. I like your drink too. I love Irish car bombs. This guy hates me because I'm not paying attention. Sorry I couldn't join your stream much. Never apologize, homie. Just the fact that you're in here saying hello means the world, dude. I had family issues. I hope it's worked out, brother. Uh, I, I know that reality all too well, my friend. I do know that reality all too well. And I hope you're good, brother. Do you believe that ignorance is bliss? I assume not always bliss, but it can be. It can be. I think it's a. I think it's a. I think it's a very smart proverb, right? I really do. Damn, that was close, homie. I'm always fucking that up, Dubs. God damn it! Worthless teammate I am. Oh, good game, well played. Lucky it's cash. I'm having a good time on Rocket League again. It feels nice. That makes me happy. You deserve it, dude, because you, you're, you're, you, you are true, Steel, like, you are truly, like, best in the world, like, some of the best in the world, and that's, that's pretty amazing, so it's like, if you're not enjoying it, that's something to look at, right? And, uh, that makes me really happy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the Ewoks into anal fisting, but we won't get into it. Wait, what about Ewoks and anal fisting? Come. In time, you will, Jester. Yes. Yes. Wow. 
I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna come in time. I need to say it because I feel like singing Willy Wonka. I got a golden ticket. I got a nutty cum sock. I got a golden ticket. I got a nutty cum sock. Is that something like now? It got fucked me. Fucked me in my asshole. I didn't want it. I didn't like it. I didn't need it. I needed 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 it. All right, we're going to make you look. Car Bomb, you stuck around, so we're going to do good for you, my friend. We're going to do good for you, Car Bomb. Oh, Jesus Christ. He is just having a fear day with you, Carby. I'm going to call you Carby if that's okay. Carby! No! Carby, what are you doing? That was my bad, too. <laughs> Chewbacca can chew my bucket anytime. What? Okay, so wait, hold on. He, oh God, he is from Kashyyyk. Am I, am I correct? That Chewie is from Kashyyyk, right? I'm just trying to remember the whole Johnny Cochran thing from South Park. Chewbacca is from Kashyyyk. <laughs> it's just like, not considering he's from the planet Kashyyyk and we got this and that. I don't even remember what he said, but it was amazing. Does that look good? Does that look good? <laughs> yeah, he walks put dwarf porn to shame. <laughs> Filthy, I gotta go, but I'm glad I can say hi. I'm glad you could say hi too, man. It's good to see you, brother. Yo, honesty and communication, Ryan. Honesty and communication, it's, it doesn't always work because not everybody is willing to be that for someone else, but uh, hey man, if you can, I'm sorry you're going through all the bullshit, man. Why did he jump? Why did he jump? What is he? Why? What was your milestone, Steel? You're back to top top 100. I gotta choose the. I gotta change the music, my friends. close one but what are you doing here buddy <laughs> oh my god that was nice I was trying to clown him and he just did it so right he just did it so right and his buddy was right there and hey dude what's up homie how are you doing brother it's good to see you man oh yeah man I'm, I'm, I'm making lots of changes as well my friend I'm, I'm working on a lot of good shit uh, for the stream. Alright, no problem, no problem. It's good to see you though, man. How are you doing, man? Watch both Hot Shots 1 and 2. It was good, but I thought 2 was a lot more surprise. Actually, sequel sucked, but 2 actually got me and made me laugh. The first one was kind of funny too, though, right? Both good. I'm done. I am done. You are OG Filthy Few, dude. Actually, give me a second. 
Yeah, man, it's fucking good to see you, brother. You are most assuredly OG Filthy Few. Dude, even if you type followage right here, surprise these motherfuckers, dude. It's got to be uh, very close to four years. I'm not even at my four-year anniversary yet, either. Okay, can we, can we fucking get out of this fucking game now, considering you don't know your positions? Jesus Christ. Maybe that, was that my fault? You know, that was, you, you, God damn it. Muse fans or Rush fans? <laughs> I would hope they both just tore each other up, what is what I hope. Go, oh, you fucking asshole! God damn it, do I have to do everything myself? I'm defended, baby. Go ahead, that's all you. That's all you, buddy. I hate this guy. Oh no, that was his. That was my bad. My bad. That wasn't his. That wasn't his shit. But still. Oh, you thought. Oh, you thought. Ah, I thought. <laughs> no! Please get me out of the fucking game, you piece of shit. Paul, that's a long penis you got there. And we have the best mods, guys. Did I tell you about my mods, how good they are? So fucking good. Quickest mods in the business. Quickest mods in the business here. Just so you guys know. Innate, I love you. Thank you, coffee. <laughs> You shit-ass! Goodness gracious. Alright, let's, um... I am going to do some more custom games, and hopefully a couple of you guys will be able to jump in. Alrighty! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want some more. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Let's do this. A little bit of Pinkerton for your pleasure. Gibbo, I would love for you to. I need people to play with, please. Like, come in and play, please. God damn it. So tired. I'm tired of having sex. That's not true because I just don't have sex. And it's not by choice. I don't know who I am. Dubs, you want some of this, Dubs? You want none of this, Dubsies! Ah! Oh shit, he's gonna score on me without doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Nope. I'll be. <laughs> Ashamed of what I said. I'm sorry. I'm a sinner, but I can't say no. I'm making me. I can get that high sometimes with my voice. I just. I'm inconsistent and I suck and I need voice lessons, but I love singing. So if I'm ever off, just realize that I know I suck, guys.
Dubs, you've created a motherfucking monster, and I think you know it, dude. I'm not saying I'm a good player, but from where I was, this is all your fault, bro. From where I was, this is all your fault, homie. <laughs> that was bad on my part. Oh, great pass, nice shot. Beautiful, beautiful, you motherfuckers are going down. Uh -huh. This is beginning to hurt This is beginning to be serious Gibbo, we're happy you're here, dude You don't want to play around no more uh -huh. It's your fault, Dubs. You did this, dude. I know you gave that to me, Dubsy. You totally gave that to me. Go on, get out! Close. Close. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. That was Gibbo, not Dubs. Very nice, dude. Good shit, homie. And you will surely see. Oh, my God, you dirty son of a gun. Okay, I got you, Dubs. Let's do this shit, motherfuckers. Let's go. Let's go. I guess what you've done to me. I did to them. you guys up it's gonna be my pleasure too i'm gonna fuck you guys up in the best way possible Say it for me, Kiki! <laughs> stop it everybody okay because like really i know it's <laughs> butter it fucking sucks on me this game fucking sucks but it's also uh, it does things to me <gasps> it does things to me Yep. There it is, puppy with the save! Oh shit on my dickhead! She's alone. I don't wanna be alone. We're all mentally ill, dude. close on me. I love the positioning, dude. Watch out for this beast, though. Oh, no, you didn't at the end! Oh, 
Everybody knows like me And I don't want to be alone Oh, I suck. God damn it. Good game. Well played. That was fun, you guys. Let's do it again. I'm becoming mentally ill. I'm already there, homie. Homie, I appreciate you, dude. Chicken, when are you gonna come in and play with us? I was just giving you guys shit anyway, because I would I might have had to do it anyway. I might have had to do it anyway. I might have had to do it anyway. I might have went that. close is good It's gonna hurt me, it's gonna kill when you desert me. Nice shot. So this, my friends, is Weezer's Pinkerton. Oh my God. And it's one of the greatest albums ever. I, I think they only have like two or three good albums, to be honest with you. What a nut, I hope so. Uh-oh. 
Close, close, close. You're all right, brother. No! 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 Oh my god. Dude, don't be sorry, homie. We all suck here. Some harder than others and like fucking call me cuz yeah. Your letter. You've got my song. All right, I'll see you, puppy. some fucking pretty good shit. I'm gonna tell you that. How are you doing? Puppy, you're doing great. You're all doing amazing. I want you guys to come in and play with my balls. Play with my balls. I win a 1v1 against a diamond, but can't win a three by three and plat. Dude, I'm platinum right now, bro. Look, dude, like, you, we have to figure out ways to acclimate to people's play style. That's the bottom line, right? Oh, fucking Pumpy. Nice, well done, dude. You fucking got all of us. That was really good. Better, good, how are you? I'm really good, I'm good. I'm happy. Um, I've got a lot of shit, like, um, changing in my life right now. And um, I think it's gonna be good stuff. Um, I don't like, I, I don't necessarily know what it's gonna mean for the stream because like I've been fucking busting my ass on this thing for like years. I'm not gonna give it up. I'm still gonna stream. Like this is still the dream. Um, and obviously not like fully just having to do with the stream. Like it comes with production and all the stuff that I wanna do. Like I really kinda wanna make TV for you guys. Um, but that being said as well, like there's a couple things like I've left on the back burner recently. <laughs> Click if you dare. There's there's a couple things that um, I put on the back burner, you know what I mean? Like martial arts. Um, I want to go back to jujitsu and MMA. Like if I have the choice, I might just do MMA and like fuck around. Cause I also really want to get back into shape. 
And I think this new job is gonna help me with that too. Don't click on it! He's gonna fucking get all your information! And don't ban him! Did you want to? Did you want to? Did you guys? You guys are freaking out! What's gonna happen? Oh my god! You guys! <laughs> there you go, zombie. I was trying for us, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying for us, baby. Oh shit, Pompey, you shit ass. That was very close. Ah, oh, god damn it, eat my fucking tonsillitis. Damn, Filthy doesn't even know where he went. Karate for you? What about karate? Oh, what style are you studying, dude? That's great. What style are you studying? Karate is, is a substantial martial art, my friend. Um, I, I will shit on plenty of martial arts. Like, I will actually shit on plenty of martial arts. And uh, karate is not one of them because it's it has, uh, it has practical value. I just don't fucking deal with martial arts that don't have practical value. We call them Bullshito. It's close. Well now, good, good, good. All right, we're still down by two, so we can do this, my friends. Pretty good shot right there, dude, damn. That was a great shot, though. No, no. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, 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 my boy, you'll be all right. <laughs> close, close, close. Japanese girls, you do it to me every time. I was pretty good at it, but not anymore. Would you consider training any other shit? A public enemy, why you do me like that? And dance with me. Like you, so please. I'm waiting. I think I'd be good for you, and you would be good for me. Way to be there, zombie. Good job. Good, 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 good. No, Chester! I'm here. I'm waiting. Think I good for you and you would be good for me we all just left that open that was my bad too i shouldn't have left that open dude good night boris i love you dude i just stopped training college be killing me baby i get you dude hey but you know what casper it's fucking temporary on me like like work hard you know what i mean um um, uh-oh, uh, what was I saying? It's temporary, right? So I think it's, I think it's a good idea to fucking work hard and, you know, you, you got, you got time to do other shit later. It's good that you're there doing that right now. Just fucking work hard, homie. 
Because again, it's temporary. Like, who knows if you use it or what, but either way. Hey, that's fantastic. Good for you, man. If I bring home the bacon like you so please i'm waiting be good for you and you would be good for me so please For you, and you would be good for me. I got you, dude. I got you. I shall end you like a bad habit. Look at that. That's good shit. That's good shit. What'd you do, turtle? Oh my god. Nice, 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 nice. in Casper do, do you have any um do you have any ideas of maybe what you want to take your education to it's buried in my mind but buried in my mind's no good big triangle on a chest let me know the truth <laughs> Pumped up to everybody like that. Look at my shitty rotations. Yeah, Dubs, eat that shit, baby. You know I love you. Right in the middle. It's all Dubs. It's not even me. Look. Look at that, Dubs. It's all you, Dubs. I grabbed a 400 degree pot handle with my bare hand last night. What happened? I thought I had found the one In my mind, but buried in my mind's no good Big triangle on a sleeve Let me know the truth Way to set it off. Oh, Dubsy knows it. Dubsy knows it. That's for you guys. That's a pass. Close, close, close. We're good. We're good. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Waiting for the proficiency. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. That's up. That's up. I'm going all the way back, my friends. Dub, she's a lesbian. I thought I had found the one. As married in my mind, but married in my ah, shit on my ass. Crown. Hope to work in an oil refinery. A lot of money, my friend. It's very true, dude. That is very true. Uh, that's great, man. Yeah, you'll make you'll make some fucking good money, dude. I'm not from the U.S., but studying in it, chemical engineering. Yeah, uh, for for sure, this major is number one in my country. That's great. Where are you from, Casper? Bro, I wish you so much luck, dude, with that. What up, Raves? Sweet, sweet. How you doing, brother? 
Let me know the truth. I fucked us on that, I think. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, you're from Saudi Arabia, dude. Welcome, man. I knew a prince from Saudi Arabia. He was really fucking cool, dude. Hi, cow. He was a real cool dude. Nufi! What's going on with you, man? How are you doing? No, we might save, dude. Said that was brilliant, dude. Bloody brilliant, shed. It was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Right? And what are you gonna try and do, Pumpy? You fucking piece of shit! How are you gonna pass that like that? God damn it! Great pass, Pumpy. Well done, dude. You just moved into a new place. That's cool. How are you liking it, man? dude um it, it hasn't started yet dude i don't know for sure if i got it but i think i got it um i find out monday because they, they were gonna bring me in on friday they were gonna bring me in on friday but i was with my kid and it was too short notice um the old co-parent would have uh, would have been okay with it i'm sure because she's uh thank god she's a pretty damn good co-parent she doesn't care about my feelings but she's still an awesome mom Um, but that being said, um, I'm, I'm excited. Like, like it's a really good place. Like the money, the potential for money is probably one of the best work places you can work in LA. And that being said, like that's, a, I'm talking a lot of fucking money, but the position I'm starting out at is a lower position. So I'll have to work my way up. And I brought that up because I, they were filled up with bartenders and servers. And I was like, look. And they were like, we do need bar backs. And I was like, look, um, if you guys are willing to, to move me up in regard to my work ethic, because I have a very strong work ethic, I'm also really fucking good with customers and people. Um, I would be more than willing to do that. And you know what I think? I think the money's still gonna be decent as a bar back, right? Because I still get my 15 an hour. Yo, I fucking turned down a job today. <laughs> I turned down a fucking job today. Oh my God, nice shot, Dubs. I turned down a motherfucking job today, but let me tell you why. It's wonderful, I love it here. Uh, Redownloading Rocket League so I can play too. Newfie, I'm so happy for you, dude. Did you mention if you were paying any, playing anything else tonight? I haven't yet, I'm considering Jackbox or something if you guys maybe wanna play some Jackbox. Um, I mean, like, I gotta be honest, Spray, I've been learning so much in the last few days with Rocket League that um, I'm not paying considerable attention to the stream, but uh, it just feels so good learning these things and implementing them, you know? Nice shot, dude. You're in for the Jackbox? Good shit. Um, so fucking today, dude, so this place called me up and I forgot that I turned in my application, right? So they're like, yeah, we're this private club and I had heard of them before. They're like, well, we're this private club. So like, you know, we, we take things like really seriously. We have over 200 wines and 38 glasses of wine. I'm like, okay, great. How do you guys work out the tips? <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, oh, we're talking business now. I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, it's 18 an hour and there's no tips. I'm like, I am not interested, but good luck to you. I can already fucking tell that that, first of all, the owners aren't paying the servers or bartenders or anyone else what they're worth because it's a private club in Santa Monica, dude. You know what I mean? Like they're making crazy, crazy money. And I could already fucking tell that it would be like an overworked gig, but also they'd be very foo-foo and uptight and like, You'd have to memorize shit ton of thing. I'm like, you know what? I can make that at DoorDash. I will be excusing myself. Thank you. My mom tried calling me the other day. Tell me what happened. 
Um, so here's the thing, man, like in, in regard to that, like it's cool and I'm figuring, my work ethic is very good. The only thing I'm worried about you guys is I am a little bit out of shape. You let it ring. Um, so uh, uh, last time I was doing this hardcore bar backing was when I was 34 was the last time I was doing it. And I was in the height of training my mixed martial arts and shit like that. And it's really busy there. And I think I'm gonna be okay because my mental is like, I'm just gonna outwork everybody, you know what I mean? But it's like, I also am dealing with arthritis. I've got like, I'm prone to hernias, you know what I mean? Like, cause I carry too much and shit. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of worried about a few things. Also, I have really bad anxiety. Um, I don't know, Dubs. I don't know if I start tomorrow. I'm calling him at 12 and we're gonna figure it out. Um, in regard to the anxiety, it's it's manageable, but again, it's like, you know, wow, like your, your, your bartender is, is so insecure that he's shaking right now. And that doesn't often happen, you know what I mean? But I can get anxiety attacks like that. And it really sucks, you guys, because not not only like does it suck just in general, but I'm I'm someone who's so insecure that I, I guess I still front a little bit. So it's like if that aura of cool is busted, like I'm like mortified, right? But it's my own doing. Like that's the thing. And 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 you know, based based on you know everything that I've learned about how I work, it's it's just basically I'm I'm consumed with what you guys think of me, which isn't good. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not that's not like a confident person right but I have these things like these issues since birth you know what I mean so it's kind of a hard thing to um it's kind of a hard thing to address and and you know what is the best is when I'm not nervous at all like if I'm at public or at work and I'm just not nervous at all it's 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 just so it feels so good you know what I mean I hate being concerned with what other people think dude and I'm not proud of it you know what I'm saying um, it's a lot less than it used to be. Like, it used to dominate my world, believe it or not, right? Used to dominate my world, so it doesn't do that anymore. But I'm sure, you know, there's, there's, you know, facets of it still in my life, right? But anyway, you know, we, we, we trudge along and we do what we can do. But one thing, a, 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 slight, a, a slight note of good news for y'all. One thing that I do know is also, um, uh... Why, Jester? Why do you lose your train of thought at the most important shit that you're about to say, dude? Oh my god, dude. What up, Turns? Um, god, it, it's like such good advice for you guys, too. Um, in regard to that stuff. I'm sure I'll think of it. You might be fucked with health, but at least you can outswim a toddler in a swimming pool. How do you know? And yes, I can. Um... Oh, this is what I was going to say, you guys. Yay. This is what I was going to say for you guys. Listen to this. This is very important. And I think you guys have probably gotten tastes of this before. Um, you know how people say, like, everything is temporary and so on and so forth. I, I think a lot of the times, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 well, what I was going to say is we conceptualize situations to be a lot more terrifying than they actually are. Right? That's that's one thing, and that's good news as well. Sometimes that's not the case. If you're an anxious fuck like me, sometimes it's it's still bad, you know what I mean? But I gotta tell you, it does make it more bearable, me knowing uh, that, that most of the time when I conceptualize these things, they are a lot worse in the conceptualization than me being in the moment. So that gives me a little bit of solace as well, right? And I, it's something I want you guys to remember as well, because it, it took me a real. It took me a while to realize that, right? It took me a while to realize that. I missed, but we'll get it. I was close. <laughs> yeah, it was so close, dude. It was so close. Um, but you know what, man? It's like, this is life, dude. There's a lot of people who deal with a lot of shit. Um, it's just from from my side, when I'm in that situation, it's, it's kind of torturous, man. I, I gotta be honest with you, right? Like, being so consumed by what people think. It's like, it's fucked up. I don't want to be that person, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... I consider it kind of weak. But then again, for someone like me, it's like, I would help it if I could. 
right? Like I really would because, you know, I mean, I, I would love to like, just be like, I don't give a fuck. And there are plenty of people who I don't give a fuck what they think, right? It's usually after, you know, I realized that, you know, they're not my kind of people, right? And then I, I could fuck it, I couldn't care less, right? You're not my type of people. It, it, it probably me, cause I'm, I'm a pretty open and gregarious person and I'm also a good person. So if you're not my kind of person, you're probably most probably like selfish or just a manipulator or some shit like that, yeah? Cause I still have an open range of like, you know, tolerance and such, right? And like the worry of fucking up at work, right? The worry of fucking up at work, like maybe because of my ADD and stuff, and then being looked at like, wow, I thought this guy was smart. Like what's what's the matter with him kind of? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's that's always wonderful. Being looked at like you're fucking dumb uh, because of certain de debilitations, that's fun. Nice shot, dude. That was that was beautiful and a great pass as well. Sorry the assignment is longer than I thought it would be still working. Quet, that's your first priority, dude. It's all good, homie. Don't rush it. Just be there. Be in the moment and take a take a good thing at your work, dude. I'm a woman. I'm used to it. About what, Mew? About feeling that way? I. You know what, man? Wow, that's actually pretty profound, dude. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine what some of y'all go through, man. Fucking can't even imagine, dude. Just know that there's guys out there that, 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 you know, you know, are not manipulative and stuff like that, right? They're out there. I mean, it's true. I am not book smart. You strike me as someone who's very intelligent, Mew. Um, but I wouldn't consider myself book smart as well, right? Like, like that, that's one thing that I didn't, um, that's one thing that I, like, I'm not a voracious reader and I probably, I probably could stand to, to do, you know, something very trippy that I learned recently, you guys, is that, so I, like I said, I'm not a big reader and, and I don't consider that an asset. I think people who read a lot are, are much better equipped for this world that's the truth right and like what are we but pragmatists right like being equipped for this world is a great thing so all of you that are fucking voracious readers or read a lot fucking congrats i wish i did um uh oh okay so recently i kind of got into a conversation about james choice because um uh, Finnegan's Wake has always interested me. I, I have never opened it up or whatever, but I was like, okay, so who's this guy that like wrote a book that no one can decipher? And I was talking to my dad a few weeks ago and he basically alluded to the fact that James, like he explained to me how James Joyce wrote like Ulysses and other things. And I'm like, oh shit, like he's making it like a puzzle for people, kind of. And he's like, yeah, kind of, you know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'm accurate about that, like in his other pieces, like Ulysses and stuff like that. But I never, th I never realized that reading could get that point, right? In my head, I was always like readings are, are, are just stories, right? But when you think about it, what you can do with film and television and all this shit, fuck yeah, you can do some of that crazy shit with books, right? So that being said, uh, that being said, I was, I mean, fuck man, I might take a crack at it. It's probably, uh, James Joyce is probably beyond my level right now. Like I would have to, you know, kind of read up on some stuff before I got into him maybe, but I just found that so interesting. And the fact that someone would write a book that like, or books or whatever that like, it kind of transcends just reading a story. I didn't I didn't know there was shit like that, dude. That's fucking rad. I also don't know if I'm off base about James Joyce or not, but like, wow, right? Like, that's fucking fantastic. So when I heard about that, I was like, wow, like, oh my God. Because that's how I think. I like fucking with people. Like, it, it, when it comes to art, I like fucking with people in, in, in thought-provoking ways, right? Because again, art is fucking empathy, right? Art is fucking empathy. 
And that's the bottom line. So during that empathetic journey of, 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 of going through this journey with the audience, I'm, I'm sorry, with the artist, because that's what you're doing. That's what's so beautiful about it. You're actually going through a journey with the artist at different times, right? You're both going on that journey. He did it or she did it when they were painting or, or making the movie or whatever, and you're experiencing it, right? I'm going to have an early night, Jester. Thank you for the stream. I adore you. Thank you for coming in. And you sleep tight, Kyle! Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, what have we here? Uh-oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Look at this, beauty, beauty, beauty. Oof. Look at my shitty ass rotations. Oh, what a save! Britt, I love you. How are you doing, mama? What up, turtle? Yo, what did you finish, homie? How are you doing, dude? Oh my god, my bad. Ewok porn is true art? You're gonna make me look that shit up, dude. The motherfucking fence, dude. That's fucking rad. I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm about to... Life's about to get real busy and real crazy. But I think I'm gonna be doing some really productive things and cool things. Why, thank you. Jesus. Jesus, Chester, you suck at assholes. Did you get the bartending job? So they were full up on bartenders and servers, and they were like, we are hiring barbacks, and like, here's the thing. The location's pretty much right on the beach, and there's going to be sick fucking money. So I was just like, yo, like, if you guys want to start me out as a barback, I've done that for years, and I'm an extremely hard worker, and he's like, dude, I love that. I love that. He's like, he's like, and I talked to him on Friday, right? So he was like, why don't you come in tonight and meet the bar manager? And I was like, I can't come in tonight because I'm with my kid. He's like, dude, don't even sweat it. He's like, I love what you have to say. Call me on Monday. So, I mean, I feel like it's possible I got the job. Like, it's quite possible I got the job, but who knows? It's going to be extremely fucking hard work. I think the pay will be decent. And then when I move up, the pay is going to be like kind of insane, I think. I should be probably making like three to four hundred a shift when I move up, dude. Two fifty to three fifty. But we'll see. Yeah, well, dude, like here's the thing, dude. I don't give a fuck anymore, dude. Like, like I found my dream, so it's like I gotta work, right? And I'm not, I'm honestly not gonna go. I'm not gonna go somewhere where I don't wanna be, right? I, I refused a job today also because I knew they were like, it was just shit, they just were shitty. Like I could tell that they just, they just wanted employees to have employees and they didn't care about them, which is a different place than I wanna work at. Um, I mean, look, I, what I'm saying is like, I don't give a fuck. Like I'm not gonna go to a place that like, that fucks my mentality bad vibes all that shit i just ain't gonna do it i'll fucking leave i don't give a fuck dude my mental health is way more important than that bullshit right um but i liked the place dude i liked the place i liked the guy that i interviewed with a lot like like he was because i was i was telling him everything i was like i have a little bit of add it helps me multitask like extremely well and then, you know, there's other times where it can be a bit of a debilitation, but it shouldn't affect job performance. Yeah, I was being honest about everything. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm a good person. I pride myself on customer service just as empathetically. It's like if I go into a restaurant or a bar and it's shitty fucking service, when I break my back to make to give people a good experience and I do it empathetically, I didn't used to be like that. I used to have a chip on my shoulder and it's like I used to give them decent service, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like really like into making their experience like, oh wow, 
this is a memorable experience. I, you know what I mean? Because they're going out to eat, but I'm a different person now. So it's like, I pride myself in whatever I'm doing. Um, so I was just like honest about that shit. And like, look, it's going to be a fucking grind, dude. I'm telling you, it's going to be hard. It's bar backing, dude, at a majorly fucking busy place. So it's not going to be easy at all. I'm going to be spent. But I'm also hoping, because I've been wanting to work out again, and I have been a little bit. I'm still, I worked out two days ago and I'm still fucking sore. Oh, I'm back on the fucking thrill of the fight, you guys. If you guys have fucking, if you guys have um, virtual reality, I got to tell you, thrill of the fight is an amazing fucking game. I... I haven't been worked out like that since I trained MMA. That's the fucking truth, dude. Yeah, bar backing at a busy place. Absolutely. I'm done working in service, but it was good at it. That's the thing. Like my, my whole dream is the stream and acting and producing and directing and making music and stuff like that. Right. So it's like, I have no choice. Like I don't, I don't have the, like I have to have at least two fucking jobs. And it's always been like that, right? Including including this one or whatever I'm going after. It takes a tremendous amount of effort, right? But that's okay, dude, I'm a fucking artist. This is the artist fucking way. God, I hope I make it. But let me tell you guys something. Success is merely throwing up. Oh Jesus, that's truth, right? <laughs> that's the anxiety talking. Success is merely showing up through adversity, guys. Please remember that, right? The results matter not as much as the journey. Success is merely throw showing up through adversity. And I, I had to fuck it up again. The following is a paid advertisement for Time Life's music collection. This is the music of your life. Hi, everyone. I'm Peter Marshall. You know, music is such an important part of our lives, and I think it's because of all those special songs that have reached out and touched us through the years. I touch myself, I want you to love me. I forget myself, I want you to mind me. I don't care anybody else. Ow. When I think about you, I touch myself, I touch myself. So many classic love songs are more than just hits. They've become standards. They're what you might call timeless. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. You can be my fans, my phantom. Be my ghost, be my ghost. There are all kinds of romantic songs, some we fell in love to. Donna Robinson, shake me your tits, do, 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 do. Are you a student or a teacher in this? Do, 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 please don't fucking harm me. Some we dance to. It's all about the kids, it's all about the kids, it's all about the kids, yeah, it's all about the kids. And then there are those very special songs that inspired us. I'm Mr. Jackson. What do you think makes a song timeless? Well, Peter, I think first it has to start with an unforgettable melody. Right. Cats are good for old people, because those old people aren't enough. And then lyrics that really mean something to people. Fuck you, Dutch. Fuck you, Dutch. Fuck you, Dutch. Oh, fuck your face, man. Fuck you, Dutch. Fuck you, Dutch. And having a beautiful voice couldn't hurt. And still I dream this dream could be that thing that I will do forever. But with this dream I need to see. Peter, that has to be the most beautiful wedding song of all time. You are so right, Debbie. In a minute, we're going to tell you how you can own all these beautiful songs. But right now, let us get back to the music. Give me a break. Give me a break. This wasn't supposed to happen on the first day. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. I think I'm just gonna have to take a Call 
now and you can own the entire collection on eight CDs for just five easy payments of $26.99 each. I'm hearing real music, and that's what I like. Oh, my God, it was just amazing. This collection has sincerely just brightened my day so many days, you know, in a row that I just can't say thanks enough. We've had such a wonderful time sharing this beautiful music with you. Music of your life, it's a special collection, and I'm sure you're going to treasure it for years and years to come. Thanks for watching and enjoy the music. The preceding has been a paid advertisement for Leonard Bezos. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen a lot of my songs. I got a lot of my songs. Yeah! Mew, have you heard you've heard you've heard Tatanka, right, Mew? You've heard this, oh my goodness gracious. You've heard the song Tatanka, have you not? Y'all heard this one. Gender or race? No, Turtle, I did not, but I will after stream, I promise. Uh, Mew, yeah, you've heard, the, you've heard the Buffalo song, right? Yeah, okay. The one with the infamous clip that goes along with it, you know what I mean? Turtle, I'm proud of you, homie. All right, let's see what we can do here. No. All right. Dubs, you were not kidding, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, all right. You should be proud of you, homie. I'm going to lurk mode, my friend. Have a great one and keep the amazing work. I love you, Mew. Thank you so much. Thanks for everything, lady. All right, let's see what we got here. That's up, babies. Ooh. Wow, look at this. Oh, oh, what? Oh. You guys making all kinds of motions. You guys making all kinds of motions. Motion in the ocean. I just want to get out that Jurgens lotion. What's the commotion or the notion? I don't think you're going to have to surf for my ocean. I'm boasting to you that's true because we come from the brew with the filthy brew and filthy beans. You know what I do? I get obscene on the motherfucking mic. That's right tonight. I feel like I'm picking up the pieces of myself that I've never known and changing myself into, into a person I can actually like. So, brother, like, that's, that's, <clears throat> every single one of you motherfuckers out there has that capability, right? It's like I say, Jergens. It's like I say, <coughs> as cheesy as it is, you guys possess your own key to your own little lockbox, which, like, if you don't like, first of all, if you don't like something about yourself, fucking change it, right? It's easier said than done, right? But only the elite humans are the ones that want to look at themselves in the face and be like, I don't like this about myself. I'm going to change this thing about myself. How do I do this? Oh shit, it's going to be really fucking painful. Some of you will say, no, thank you. And others, will say, I'm gonna do it. I'm not, listen, I'm not only gonna do this for other people, because first self and then others, I'm really gonna do, I'm gonna do this for myself. I'm gonna do this for myself for once. I want more, give me more. Yes, yes, reach out. Don't yes. know why he was known. He's a fucking champion. <laughs> must know that he is a fucking champion. That's another song that I'm producing with Chrono DH. That's going to be a Rocket League theme, my friends. That is what was I doing over there? I am so sorry. That was a, I don't I have no idea what I did there. That was the Rocket League theme that we're working on. My buddy and Chrono DH. I swear to God, Turtle, you shit ass. God damn it. Yeah, all right. Run. <laughs> You're trying keyboard mouse. I love you, Scruffs. What's up, dude? How was your stream, bro? Thank you for the raid, man. Um. Yep. Give me, give me space, people. 
Jester needs space to Jester needs space to work it. Jester needs space to work it. Sorry, Doves. I thought I, I wish I was more online with that. Oh my god. Quep, learning keyboard and look at this motherfucker. Hey, I'm Quep. I'm learning keyboard and mouse. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna fucking just shark that into your fucking anus. Super Mario 64 speedruns? Are you doing better than Spray? Because God, I gotta tell ya. I'm fucking doing like fucking 30 seconds over in every scene and shit. What is that about, Spray? Spray's a rock star. I know, he does, he's pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Oh my God. Good shit. Yep. Good shit. Close, I'm back. Good shit, I'm back. I'm going. There it is, boys. Doesn't get much better than that, but they're there. Nice shit, nice shit. Oof, I fucked up too. Beautiful, beautiful. What a save, dude. Go on, nut. Go on, bitches! You gotta watch for the tricky jester! Oh my god. Oh, that was close as fuck, dude. Good shit, good shit. Ah, oh, way to keep it, dude. Close. Gave it right to him, that's all right. Wow! That was pretty nasty, dude. That was insane. I might do one weird move better. Forgot what it's called, one with the backflip. Vin Diesel versus Dwayne Johnson, who wins? Oh, The Rock fucking kicks the shit out of Vin Diesel, dude. Vin Diesel's a fucking... Vin Diesel is like a fucking television tough guy. I'm not saying anything yet. I'm sure he's a nice guy. But I will say, I like The Rock a lot, and it's just kind of interesting the way they beefed. The Rock is a fucking athlete. Like, The Rock will... The Rock, look, I've ne I don't follow wrestling, okay? I don't follow... Like, like, regular wrestling, yeah. Like, but like... The WWE, that's, I don't follow any of that shit, but those fuckers are athletes, like, you wouldn't fucking believe, and would beat the shit, I, I mean, they're core wrestlers anyway, like, they know wrestling anyway, god, like, re wrestling is a devastating martial art, so that being said, unless Vin knows some fucking Brazilian jiu-jitsu or some wrestling or shit, he's, he's fucked, he's, like, completely fucked. Vin plays D&D, I know Vin plays D&D. I know Vin plays DD. He even brought it up on a talk show and embarrassed the host, who was famous, and I forget who the host was. Totally embarrassed him. Vin don't care about code. Vin is like, yo, I'm a fucking role player. Get fucked. And we're like, but you're Vin Diesel. And he's like, but I'm a fucking role playing nerd. And you're like, okay. What up, hippos? In what context, though? Because I prefer to climb Vin Diesel. Who is more attractive to you, ladies? Who's more attractive to you, ladies, or you guys? <clears throat> Vin Diesel or The Rock, and why? Because Diesel looks a little goofy to me. Like, I can gauge, I can, I, I have no problem gauging a man's attractiveness in regard to how I feel they are attractive physically. Uh, I, I don't mind, and I think The Rock is much more attractive. I mean, it's each his own, though, right? I think The Rock is much more attractive than Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel kind of looks goofy to me, dude. Like, really? Like, legitimately looks like someone who just, like, you know what I mean? Just kind of like a buff dork. Both at the same time? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> we know. 
you know, not WB Goofy though. What's WB Goofy? What up, FaZe? Based off of wanting to purely mate, The Rock for life married Vint. Why? Why? Oh, 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 wait, but wait. Hold on, isn't The Rock a little nerdy too? Why, why marry Vin? Why marry Vin? Besides the fact you have someone who embodies both of them right in your house. <laughs> Vin Coletti. <laughs> Vin Coletti. Vin Coletti! Warner Brothers, the cartoon. Oh yeah, I got that, but... The Rock looks like he smells like baby oil. Vin Diesel looks like he smells like strong opinions on the age of consent. <laughs> Ark, is that... Is that... <laughs> is that a thing? I'm not gay, but The Rock is The Rock. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not gay either. Uh, but I can appreciate a man's physical beauty. I really can. Um, and that, yeah, I don't know. Is that weird? I can gauge if someone's attractive, but not be attracted to them. Blast, can you also said the rock? He's here with me. Tell him I love him. I don't know. Maybe just my opinion. I don't really know what the rock smells like. <laughs> it's not weird. Okay. Not weird at all. Okay. Um, <clears throat> cause maybe I'm just closeting, but there's, you know, there's some good looking dudes out there. I gotta say. But, I love you too, Blast, but I gotta say, I like girls. <laughs> oh my god. But The Rock has a prosthetic forehead. <laughs> Is that like a boob job for men? What do you mean he's got a prosthetic forehead? What are you even, what are you talking about? No, not weird. I think it means you're comfortable with your sexuality. I think so too. Like, I, I men don't do it for me, but like, I love gay people, and I um, <clears throat> I, I just try to be empathetic with others, right? Nice. They both smell better than Paul. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ark, it's kind of not too soon, but yeah. He has like a plastic for it. It comes off like Velcro. Oh, that's good to know. I. Is that how he books all those roles? That way the, the casting directors can have sex with his head. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch, everybody. Welcome to Twitch, ladies and gentlemen. We're here all week, unfortunately, for you. We'll make it better! Why do I suck like this? God damn it. I gave fair warning. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, I love everyone and nothing wrong with picking the rock over Vin, right? I got it, but I gotta tell you though, here, here's the thing. And you guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I, my feeling, look, I don't know really who the rock is i haven't really f i mean like i've i've watched his movies and i think he's extremely charismatic right he's extremely charismatic but he validly strikes me as a nice person you know what i mean just based on on the way he interacts with people and stuff like that now i could be wrong but the rock validly strikes me as a nice person and i hope he is right so it leads me to believe that i don't know but that beef on fucking that beef on, uh, wow, nice fucking shot. On Fast and Furious leads me to believe that he's like the justified one. Does that make sense to you guys, right? So I'm already like, was fucking Diesel being a fucking prima donna? You know, cause it might, cause, cause I mean, who knows, dude? I don't know, I just, I, and I could be wrong. Maybe all of them are, nah, I, you know what? <clears throat> all actors are not prima donnas, that's for sure, but it's 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 very possible that most of them are oh my god that was so close dude um but that being said yeah rock doesn't strike me that way he just doesn't he just doesn't so it just kind of makes you think you know oh i love you dubs <laughs> it was close thank you <laughs> 
Dubs, you gotta clip that. Me just telling you I love you. Oh, I love you, Dubs. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> yeah! The Fast and the Furious, they time travel. What do you mean they time travel? You, he's lying to you, hippos. Um, they're, I mean, like, I don't, I, if I remember correctly, they're not that, they're not like bad. Maybe they are bad movies, but they're not bad, but it's still that, you know, kind of generic drivel, right? That all of America, you know, just happens to uh, eat the fuck up. Thanks for waiting, dubs. Alrighty. Don't be sorry, dude. It, it's that's part of the game, homie. I I never, I do not mind being demoed. I really don't. I think it's a sh in private matches. It's one thing, but like, if it's if it's about someone sinking the fucking shot and you demoing them, please demo me. I want you to play. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's gonna emulate that's gonna emulate what's happening in solo queue anyway, right? Um, demoing is a fucking absolutely fantastic facet of the game. A fucking fantastic facet of the game. Whoever, hey genius, whoever came up with like the physics of Rocket League, I mean they gotta be geniuses, right? The people that came up with how this works, it's so good. It really, like I'm just talking about the mechanics, dude. God damn it genius, you're all thin ass essay! What else is left? They already went to space in a Pontiac Fiero. It was a Tesla. It was a Tesla, right? Or was it like basically a Pontiac Fiero? <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. What about Gilbert Godfrey? Oh my God. Do I sound like him sometimes? I do, don't I? <gasps> this is, I sound like Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> this officially sucks, you guys. Something just happened. I sound like Gilbert Gottfried! But I should go give a go study, homie. You got time for Rocket League later. Go study, homie. I appreciate you. I'm glad you fucking came in tonight, dude. I miss you, dude. Where have you been? What do you mean? What do you mean? Did I skip a stream or something? How are you doing? I don't even know how you motherfuckers are doing mouse and keyboard. Fuck that shit, dude. All right, I'm gonna start paying attention. I gotta rotate better. I'm going for this, dude. No, Pumpy! God damn it! I think that was even in, you piece of shit! Good redirect, good redirect. I'm gonna back you here. Let's get ready. Good shit, good shit. My shadow, na, 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 but it's so. Stadium, Arcadium is happening to you. I don't know lyrics. Fuck off, dude. How's the music volume? You can fart on this, dude. What up, owns you? I'm chilling, dude. How are you doing, man? It's good to see you, brother. <clears throat> Why is Jester freaking out over the physics in Rocket League? It's fucking pe Pele on wheels. That's what I'm saying. It's it's wonderful. Volume is good. Thank you. I haven't played Project Zomboid in a little while as well, guys. I want to get back in on that a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. The ideal for me is just producing and not even playing games until like I get on stream or whatever. But sometimes, or a lot of the time, I, I relax by playing games. But I do, if you guys didn't hear, I have a few more sketches coming your way. Um, and I think they're gonna be pretty funny. I'm still kind of milling them out in my head. In my head. Good shit. I'm defending. I got Close. 
Let's give each other space. Let's try and rotate like we were in threes, guys. Close. Good save, dude. I could not do that on my own. Good pass, brother. Get ready for it, Dubsies. Close, close, close. We're close. That's okay. Get your positions, guys. Good shit. Good shit. Very close, sir. I'm falling back. Let's give each other space. Wow! So close, brother. That's it, that's it! Lovely, very close, my friend! Beautiful, beautiful. I'm in goal, I'm in goal. Good shit. That's pretty perfect. Oh, no, it wasn't. I lied, I lied. Nice, zombie. Lovely. Close one, close one. Good shit, Dubsy. Calculated, I'm heading back. Close. Still in goal with like no boost. This should be fine. A um, little bit of destruction. I got goal. Let's see that. Good shit. Close. Good shit. Sorry about that. I think that's raves and goal. Thank you for being there. Good shit. Stay with it. Awesome. Awesome. Son of a bitch.
simmer. This is for your car. Just listen, just listen, everybody listen! This will help you no play folks. better games. It's ro it's Rocket League. I dip my balls in buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? So tell me, beauty, if you want this bacon. Cause when the sauce is this hot, there's no love making. Cause I dip my balls in buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? The night is cold and we're all the night. Wow. Just remember when you're down. Oh, I see you, dude. All right, Rips, I see you, dude. You're going to have to feel filthy. That ain't gonna work you're often, I'll tell you that much. You'll be licking my food. Oh, we got spray. You guys are done. I was just kidding. That safe spray. Buffalo, <laughs> buffalo, jizzling. I dip my balls in buffalo sauce. You think it'll hurt me? Oh yeah, it's it's. Oh my God, what a save, dude! It's not it's not an issue, homie. Life first, bro. But it is good to see you back, and I hope you're doing well. Um, I. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that was insane. I, I, look, I, I totally understand that. And never apologize for not coming in here. Just as long as you come in and do your thing, we're good, dude. Um, yeah, man, I've been to a lot of different shit, though. Simmer, look at my front page, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm producing a, um, an interactive, uh, an interactive, uh, comedy. An interactive sci-fi comedy sitcom. And I'm producing a lot more shit as well. So I'm really excited. I'm good. I'm good. Um, but you know, also life, it's tough, right? Trying to make that money, do all that shit. Ewok pegging. There shall be no Ewok pegging on this stream, my friend. Wow, that was pretty insane. Fucking hell, wait, can I get any fucking boost? Nice, 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 nice. That's good. Charlie's Charlie's Good shit, dude. Yes, he seems to be very passionate about this. As long as I say my entrance quote of the welcome to the joys of begging once in a while, quite absolutely. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it, I was like, where has Simmer been? It's been a while, it's been a while. So guys, what, um, what, yo, Nufi, I love you, brother. Thank you for the raid, homie. Um, so guys, what uh, new shows are coming out that we want to watch, right? Soon. Oh, we've got, okay, hold on. We've got Snowfall coming quite soon. Actually, within the next few days. I'm really hoping that it's good. Because I don't know if it's going to be. I hope it is. The last season was, was, I'd say it was good, but it wasn't as strong as the other seasons. So, I just hope it's, uh, yeah. And then obviously, like, The Boys. Um, I, I would assume that Invincible's not coming back on until 2023, yeah? Think you're gonna get this on me, Dubs? Ah, oh, 
We had the Quepinator there. Ooh. I shortened it since last time, dude. <laughs> oh, that was so close, though. Nice shot. That was so close, dude. Wow, you're fucking sick, dude. Jesus Christ, Dubs. Who's Big Muscles? Sign me up! <laughs> Sign me up! I need a personal train! I need to personally train right now at the present. Thank you very much. Zombie, very close. Zombie, great instincts, dude. Great instincts, dude. I do it like that all the time as far as, like, not not quite getting it. But uh, good instincts. That's, that's the shit that will serve you, is positioning and shit like that. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you just keep popping them. You just keep popping them when you're watching my streams. That's the point, right? In it, in it. Filthy, I just got a free order from Papa John's. I'm about to surprise the delivery person with a $20 tip. I love it, homie. That's so fucking cool. How did you get free Papa John's, you fucking cuck? You ready to share with the rest of the class, my homie? Joe, my kid loves jujitsu, dude. He loves it. We're doing Gracie, doing straight Gracie, and it's good. The, the coaches are amazing. Um, and it's also inspired me to get back into it. So I'm either, I mean, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I, I also really want to get into fucking shape, dude. I, I've always wanted kind of a ripped body, and I know how much effort it takes. And since I'm 46, it's probably not going to happen. But I can do my best, right? I'm already starting to train again. My arms are so fucking sore right now. But that being said, um, this particular Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he's, he, they're, they're good. He's really good with the kids and everything. But I'm either gonna do Gracie Jiu-Jitsu or like an actual fight gym. And I kind of want to do a fight gym, to be honest with you, because I can learn more Jiu-Jitsu down the line, but like the MMA, I'm already 46, you know what I mean? If I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it more, like now is the time, right? Because I'm not gonna be able to do that shit later on. Well, maybe. Yeah, so we'll see, man. But but it's uh, I'm really excited, man. He loves it so much, dude. He loves it so much, and he'll do like he'll do like a takedown on a grounded gr on a grown adult because that's what they do, you know? They're like, oh, we're gonna do a sweep now and stuff like that, and he literally will put the guy down and get up and look at me and just be like this. Like he's six, and I'm like, no. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, man. I'm, Joe, I'm fucking grateful we're able to put him in here at six years old. My parents, like, I could, I always wanted to train martial arts, and my family could never afford it. So the first time I like validly started training martial arts, I think I was like 23. I I had finally made some money, and it was from acting. It was from my true fucking passion. Like I had a few years where I was doing commercials and TV shows and all that shit, right? So I was like, you know what? I want to occupy my time with like good, healthy stuff, right? And I started with Muay Thai. And I'm super glad I did. I fucking love Muay Thai. Um, but after that, years after that, I jumped into BJJ and MMA. 
And man, when I exp MMA is fucking wonderful. It's it's a great martial art in itself. But I'll tell you, when I experienced Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I mean, it's like think about it. Like who else, who else, you know, in Jiu-Jitsu are you gonna see putting both legs behind their neck, right? Gonna head to bed, Jester. Love you, man. Be safe and blessing your way. Thank you, Raves. It's good to see you, man. Filthy. Speaking of your stream acid. Why do your streams now seem less trippy? Um, probably because I'm just playing Rocket League right now and there's like nothing going on in the background. But dude, there's, look, bro, um, Simmer. Bro, sis, I don't know. It, uh, uh, I have a whole series, look at my front page, bro. I've got like a ton of shit that you probably haven't seen. Like the whole Hidden Valley show, the whole Hidden Valley saga. I'm doing other kinds of sketch comedy, and I know people are sick of this, but guys, there's more sketches coming. Sketches like this, but maybe even funnier. Jones, what's up then? Jones, have you ever trimmed the cabbage line? Diced the devil's onion ring? Parted the red sleeves? Have you ever eaten ass before, mate? Oh, yes, I do love such a thing. Good, good. So, Jones, considering we are going to have to wait hours to only be violently slain by invading hordes, would you like to eat my ass? Oh, no, 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 mate. Me mum wouldn't like that much. Well, uh, watch as Johnson over there. Right. Johnson? Yes, sir! My God, man, I'm right here. You don't have to yell. Yes, sir! <sighs> Johnson? Yes, sir! Have you ever eaten?
save, dude. Fantastic save. I fucked up, god damn it. I mean, at least I was there, but shit, I fucked us. Okay. Go on, boys. I got coal. Nice save, Pumpy. I gave it right to him. My bad, my bad. We'll get it, we'll get it. I gotta concentrate. Oh, shit on my dickhead! Someone go up! Good shit! Get it out of here, get it out of here. Good shit, we're good. Fuck. That's in. Wonderful work. Good shit, what a pass, dude. Close one, buddy. There it is, right there. Nice shot, great, sh great fucking pass, face. God damn. We good, baby, uh. Are you planning on streaming tomorrow? I am planning on it, but it, I don't know what's gonna happen if I get a new job or whatever. Uh, Filthy, I just had a long and productive conversation with someone who also did ninjutsu and other traditional styles. It was also, it was a lot of fun. Oh fuck yes, he is not only is legit, he has more tournament experience than me, that's impressive. He also loves the traditional styles like Kung Fu like I do, but understands they are just arts. I like it. After talking to him for 10 minutes, I knew he was legit, that's fucking rad. I mean, look man, after, after the Gracie challenge and all that shit, it's like people were still like, nah man. You know what I mean? Like, my fucking Budo Tai Jitsu will just take, I'll just kill you with my dick. It's like, just bring it in the octagon. I will bite that dick off. Uh, if y'all can do me a favor and not fucking poop me all that shit, okay? Don't even quit. Just don't quote me on it. God damn it. Listen, I'm going to ask you that. Joe, listen, if you were facing off, if you were facing off in the octagon, in the octagon or just training or whatever and you were like <laughs> you saw it, not you you were like what is this and then this freaky man known as me this freaky man known as me and then I'm like this and I'm like this like this I know jujitsu I know jujitsu 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 you're not gonna want to fight me man I'll just tell you, you're not going to want to fight me, man. No, well, it's good for you, Jujins. Because sometimes. <laughs> Bye, viewers. It's not my fault. Bye, viewers. Wow. Look, just quit. Mm, beautiful. The white background. Oh, well, it wasn't. It wasn't the other stuff spray. It wasn't. Yes, the acid is back. <laughs> it wasn't. Listen, that's not the only. God damn it! I fucking talk. Coffee simmer. I'm more like coffee slimmer. Yeah, Virginia Slim. Gary. Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel again. <laughs> She was stoked? Dude, it was a her. You should have been like, that's just the first tip. I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joe, it's not my fault, okay? <laughs> There's more where that came from, sugar. See you in the octagon, lady. I know the conversation about this is over, but speaking gay bars, I am I am the whole goddamn gay bar. Okay, sounds like fun. I was like 20 years older than her. Oh, I mean, there's chicks out there that dig that, I hope. <laughs> Joe, it's not my fault, Joe. 
It's not my fault, okay? I was born this way. It was good, dude. It was good, Turtle. I, I, you know what, guys? I, I preach a lot of shit to you guys about, like, defeating anxiety and, and you know, just a bunch of different things. Nice. That was close. Um, but you know what? I really practiced it this these last two weeks, and I'm very proud of myself, yeah? Um, it gave me a tremendous amount of anxiety to go... What a fucking shot. Um, it gave me a tremendous amount of anxiety to go through these things. Like I had to, I had to study for my driver's license, get get my driver's license, apply to get my resume going again, apply to apply to jobs, and like I've been, thank you, Dubs. I, I've been I've been busting my ass on this stream for like three and a half years, almost four years, right? And I thought I thought I'd at least be up to like a hundred viewers a night. You know what I mean? Wow, that was so close. And I was wrong, but that's okay. It's seriously, like, I'm glad it worked out this way because every, if I had fucking made it, like, within that year and I was like, oh, cool, like, thousands of people are just watching me based on my personality and, and, and you know, stuff like that, like, that's cool, but I wouldn't have grown as an entertainer in the, in, in the way that I have grown, right? I was able to really dig deep and be like, okay, you know, you're not growing like you want. What do you have to do? Well, you got to delve into your talents, filthy, and figure out what you can do. That's the things. And and watching ama other amazing, watching amazing streamers is uh, a way how I came up with some of this stuff. And I was like, dude, I, I should just do sketches and stuff like that. That's what I was born to do anyway. Um. And I was saying this before, guys. If you're streaming for a hobby. I think it's wonderful, and you guys should be proud of yourselves. Good shit, brother. I like it. Oh, I, I appreciate you, Simmer. I, I hope. Because <laughs> it's very possible I'm, I'm, I'm someone with, like, mediocre talent that just, uh, that is a little bit of a hack, but that's okay. I, I don't believe that, to be honest with you. Like, I, I think I do have considerable talents here and there, but uh, it's tough, man. You know, like, it's tough. It's tough looking at yourself as an artist as well, you know what I mean? Especially when there's such remarkable talent out there, to be honest with you, you know? I'm just happy I made someone's night. I delivered food for a while, so I know how it is. Dude, it's all, I think that's rad. It always comes to sex with me, Joe. <laughs> that's my problem. It's the, 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 the life of a hypersexual who doesn't get laid. Figure that one out. I've tried to. God, I love this song, dude. Way to be there, dude. Close, close, close. Oh, uh, we just set him up. Oh, very close. Oh, wow. The fucking talent, dude. Hi, Scruffles. I love you. You're talented. It might be better with acid, but still, you're very talented. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I have some acid, but never find a good time to take. Last time, I also took seven grams of mushrooms and a bunch of yay. Fuck, dude. I bet that, I bet that fucking yay makes it all ill after you, like, I don't know. It's just like mushrooms clean, right? I don't know. Yeah, touch me. Touch you with me. I've said it before. I think the only way I'm going to get laid in the near future is to crawl up a chicken snatch and wait. <laughs> Coffee, I feel the same, you lovely thing. It was a great night. I'm sure it was a great night, dude. I'm sure it was a great night. 
Um, can we get uh, one? Oh no, we got spray. No, we got enough room. We got enough room. Guys, if you're if you're willing to fucking play Rocket League with us, we would love to have you. The only caveat is no salt. We fuck around in here. I do stupid fucking shit that you may or may not laugh at. You know, folks, it gets hot in here sometimes. I've been in my balls and buffalo sauce. You think oh! you're Simmer, that, thank you very much for saying that, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. It means a lot. Like, that does not fall on deaf ears. That's, thank you very much for saying that. That makes my night. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm moving forward. Oh, I'm so excited about these new sketches, you guys. Um, I think they're gonna be very funny. Uh, so we'll see. And then, of course, the cats are good for old people. I've got some more podcasts incoming. Um, I've got a bonafide scientist, and also I need my homie Chrono to uh, to come through, possibly on the next one. But I, I do have uh, an actual scientist that we'll be talking to. So, Mama, leave something behind. I, I feel like this is about him going sober, dude. Strip my mind. Do I, I would love Ninjo, I would love that. Cause also like if I get back into training and shit with the way I am, um, cause I'll, I'll say I'm a different person, right? Like I'm much more, I'm much more, um, I don't know. I, I'm just, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm much more in tune with things. I have, a, I have a lot less bullshit in my head and a lot less ego in my head jading me of the truth. So, um, and that's another reason why going back, like I was humble when I was doing MMA and Jiu Jitsu, if not for anything, for the fact that like, like 90% of the people in that, in that gym could fuck me up, right? <laughs> like that's, that's one thing that you gotta like, dude, don't, don't go in there like a dick ass. And if you do have the skills and you go in like that, you're kind of a piece of shit, dude. Cause with great power comes great responsibility, right? If you have responsibility over another individual and you can help them or you hurt them, I think that dictates what type of person you are. If you hurt them, you're probably a weak person. You should think about that. But if you help them, that's pretty strong. I have so much Bullshito to say. Dude, I, and that's another, let's just do it soon, dude. I'm fucking down. Mama said mama's the devil. Mama always said quitting for quitters. Dude, I wrote a crazy fucking monologue, dude. <gasps> Should I perform it for you? No, I'm not gonna do it. It's serious, like it's way serious. Like there's tears and everything. I can cry on cue, dude. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm a more proficient, serious actor than any of the comedy you guys have seen. Look, this is me angry even, look, this is me angry. Who's gonna help you now? Who's gonna help you now? Who's gonna help you? Who's gonna help you? Who's gonna help you? But anger is the easiest emotion to convey, that's the truth. You never saw that one? It's from, I, I shot that like, uh, it was for my film, it was for an old film reel. So I just decided to shoot it on my buddy's iPhone. It took us like 30 minutes to shoot, produce everything. Or 45, I was proud of myself. I love Kung Fu, always will. It's not effective, but I love it. And I and I can totally relate to that, right? Like I, I understand that. I studied a little bit of it, right? But I definitely do understand that fully. Nice, way to be there. Ow. Oh, God. 
That's what I'm talking about. Nice shot. Great pass. Filthy, you look cute without the glass. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, thank you. <laughs> Odin is yelling at you. Why? You guys see how easy I am, dude. I'm just an insecure fuck. But it's genuine flattery, so thank you. Why is Odin yelling at you, boy? He dropped his bottle. Oh, Man. I love kids, dude. I, you know what I like? I like being that that parent that's like the the nurturing dad. You know what I'm saying? I, I love that. You know, I love changing diapers. I love fucking... Honestly, I mean, not someone else's kid, obviously. But if it's my kid, I love it. I can identify any kung fu style. Show me a form I'll identify it. Northern, southern, animal, religious, I'll know it. Yo, so Joe. So in my in my times. Yes, Ducky, get your ass in here, dude. Can I be your personal hype uh woman cheerleader? Uh since you're insecure because you're so amazing, talented, and cute. Yes, you can. <laughs> and thank you, I appreciate that. Um Yes, I, I, ah, shit! Yes, thank you, I appreciate that. Um, so Joe, in my youth, like, I studied a little bit of Kung Fu, but I came up with this whole, like, fucking crazy kata. I'm not kidding. And it looks substantial. So this is what I'm gonna do, Joe, and, and this is gonna be, it's gonna be dorky as fuck, dude. It's gonna be dorky as fuck, and you might just laugh and be like, Jester, you're a fucking idiot, dude. But it looks good. I'm telling you, it looks good. And it's 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 a sequence of moves that I made up in order to get closer to an opponent and fuck them up. Like, literally. And, 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 and I, I had just been working on it for years, you know what I mean? Just to fuck around with people. But I want to do it for you, and I want you to tell me, like, what it would resemble. Because it's not, it's something I came up with. But it looks like Kung Fu. Like, it legitimately does. Oh, it's, it's... I would say it's... Is there a snake style? Fuck, is there a snake style or like a cobra style? That's what I think it would be. I told you about it already?
took many months of extreme training, but my buddy has told me it is badass. Believe it. It's Sniffle Tits. Sniffle Tits is just me, yes, as that character. But Cats Are Good for Old People is that, um, it's that sci-fi, sci-fi sitcom. Basically, it's gonna be kind of like a game because the way we're working it out right now is there's different outcomes for different choices that players make, right? That's the way we're designing it right now. And the lore of Cats for good, Are Good for Old People is pretty insane. And I'm about to actually show you something in regard to the lore. Um, so I have a friend and her name is The Curious Worlds and she has a stream on Twitch. She's a kitty. She's a Kaya. She has a stream on Twitch and she is highly fucking talented. Like amazingly talented. And this girl, nice shot. This cat made a battle vest for me. No, it's not. No, no, no. Sniffle Tits is dumb as dog shit, right? So Sniffle Tits is dumb as dog shit. You can basically only watch this sometimes like filthy, filthy, filthy. <laughs> But he's like also a bounty hunter. My bad, sorry about that. He's also a bounty hunter that kind of can get the job done. He's just really tough, he's just not that bright. You're back and you can't sleep? Well, hold, hopefully we'll, we'll make this a little bit better for you. Um, but he's like a giant in the sense where he's like 200 feet tall kind of shit, right? Oh, Chester, you suck. Are we on twos here, Quep? Because I'm about to rock all these motherfuckers, dude. So, God damn it, God, you Run. son of a fucking Here we go, here we go. Oh, son of a fucking ass lips. <laughs> Good game, well played. So coffee, check this out for a second. Sorry, sorry. So check this out real quick, Simmer. So the mythology, like I said, goes pretty deep, but but the Curious Worlds is a battle vest for the character of Sniffle Tits, and it goes something like this. First of all, just to try on the battle vest, right? You know, like old old school 80s punk, that kind of shit, right? So, like I said, the lore and cats are good for old people is pretty thick, okay? So we've come up with some fictitious punk rock bands because Cats Are Good For Old People is gonna be very punk rock, uh, neo-punk rock, like Northwest Indiana shit, like just some of, there's been a lot of punk bands that, that came out recently that are fucking rad. So it's gonna be very punk-centric, punk and imagine as this is going on, um, uh, remember the, the movie Heavy Metal from the 80s? How you're watching this amazing cartoon develop, but it's also got really awesome music behind it that you don't often hear in animation. Same kind of thing. So anyway, here's the battle vest, the Schniffel Ditch, and I'm gonna share it with you because it has a, a, some light like, Easter eggs here and there. It's, it's beautiful work. I think this is a million dollar vest, dude. Um, but I'm gonna show you a couple of the names. She made, yeah, for my production. Yes, she made that for me, for my production. Dude, there's so much shit, bro. Like, we've got a Wilford Brimley emote because Wilford Brimley is a character in the show, actually. So anyway, here's some of the fictitious bands, just real quick. Ass Pussy, Cropper Stompers, The Fun Geese. I know you can't see some of these guys, but that's, it is what it is. Transfer Corpse, of course, Hall and Scroats. Space Nodders, there's a little throwback to Twitch right there. Oh, this is my favorite. If you guys are a fan of, of fucking amazing 80s films, this is a throwback to Ice Pirates, baby. Space Herpes. Space Herpes the band. Canis Aches, right? Um, what else do we have here? We have Cosmo Lingus. Donkey Shote. 
last fingers of Zorlak. She designed all of these too. Like we came up with them, me and my buddy. Uh, Cannibal Bananabal. Oh shit, that's coming off. What the fuck happened here? Cannibal Bananabal. And then she left me an Easter egg as well. Buddies and cream, buddies and cream, buddies, buddies, buddies and cream. Isn't it rad? Am I getting an acid flashback? It's quite possible, but like, so there's a lot of shit that, that you know, is going into this, and I am working with one of my uh, partners, Chromo DH, and we are figuring out how to get this off the ground and extremely interactive. Um, but it's going, the script is done. Like the production, it's been like, uh, the script is done, the storyboard is done. We do need to add on some more stuff now that we know um, because it was supposed to be this thing where it's like we were going to get everything together and then just start producing it and then have you guys, like, the audience come in as, like, Rocky Horror Picture style kind of thing. But we're like, fuck it, we can produce this right now as an interactive thing. And I'm so happy that I'm getting his help with that. But, but like, literally, it'll be interactive. Like, you guys will make choices. And by the way, the shit we have planned is... It's, it's, it's off, dude. Like, it's, it's, it's something else. It really is. I'm excited. Um, so part of my conversation this weekend included snake styles. We talked about the lost snake form, and he didn't know about it. I studied the history behind it. The only surviving style is venom style, which I learned. The lost style is constrictive, which supposedly was the first grappling style of kung fu. Ooh, interesting. It predates the Japanese grappling styles. Are you serious? Wait, 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 hold on. Well, so all the martial arts, all, all the martial arts like kind of come from Africa, right? Like when you, when you, right, Joe? Like when you think about it, like the African martial arts are probably the earliest ones, right? Um, but that's interesting. It, it's, it's very interesting to me because it feels like, it feels like the, the Chinese, I'm sorry, but the Chinese styles are not as strong as the Japanese styles, right? The Japanese styles, like, still kind of last to this day, right? Nice shot. How are you going to make it interactive? Is it going to be through Twitch? Yes. Yes, it is going to be through Twitch. Basically, think of a choose your own. I don't want to say too much, but basically think of a choose your own adventure. Um, I might even, I even, I might even monetize it right away. We'll see. Um, I think it would actually work. Cause that's the idea, right? Like, like all, you know, doing what I love and, and doing this shit, but also monetizing. Um, so ideally it would be like highest bidder gets to make the choice that as the choices are laid out, the highest bidder in the stream gets to make that choice, right? My bad. Oh, I tried, dude. Where am I going, dude? Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? Nice shot, my bad. What? What's up, Posey? Yes, and Chinese styles came from India. Yes, yes. Uh, Kalari Payu, right? Kalari Payu, is that it, dude? Or something like that. Kalari Payatu or some shit like that. It's interesting shit, but you know, I love the fact that people came along and they were like, you know what? A lot of this shit just don't work. We should stop using it. But the, here's the thing that fascinates me, Joe, is like how, like there were wars fought. You know what I'm saying? Like there were motherfucking wars fought. How did some of these people think that certain styles were good when they just like weren't? Like, aren't you supposed to use it on the, on the battlefield? Like, doesn't sound extremely practical, right? I'm good, Posey. It's good to see you, man. But the lost constrictive style may have influenced jujitsu, which made judo and BJJ. But the history, history is muddy. Interesting. Good night, everyone. I hope you have an amazing rest of the stream. I love you, buttered. Thank you, brother. It's all cults. I know. I know. And that's the that was the funny thing. Not only funny, but pretty pretty enlightening. Um, you you never address them as such, but but definitely, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's uh, dude, that was just, <laughs> it 
You guys wanted that in there. Jesus Christ. You guys wanted that in there. Some of the monk styles are crazy as fuck. But you know what, though, you guys? You know what trips me out? Is like, is like, if you saw two proficient kung fu practice practitioners actually practicing kung fu on each other, yes, it would be interesting and fun to watch. Like, it would be, right? But like, here's the deal. You look at people who do Shaolin, the actual Shaolin monks, and when they spar, it's, I don't see any fucking kung fu. I see no fucking kung I see them throwing wild fucking punches. Can you tell me what that's about? When there's a... Uh, when they're supposed to be practicing kung fu they're like doing shitty kickboxing joe kung fu only works on kung fu right but that's the thing when they're sparring as shout look it up on youtube guys this is just the shit i've seen look it up on youtube you will see shaolin monks and the shaolin monks sparring are not doing this kind of fucking shit right they're like ah! that's all you that's true. <laughs> They're doing the war queef, homie. They are. I want to hear it. Cowboy talk. We can. Soon, my dog of war. But we have to do it my way. Ouch. Wow. That was close. Good game. Well played, my friends. Dojo's challenging other dojos before MMA. Well, well, yeah, 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 right? Oh, God, how ridiculous that shit must have been, dude. Because they were still pit fighters back then, Joe. Like, I have met them. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the people that were, like, pit fighting in the 90s, dude, like, those guys. Jesus Christ. Like, I mean, I don't know if you've seen Rio Heroes. You might want to look up Rio Heroes, but I'm talking about, like, real underground pit fighting. Like, real underground pit fighting. Um, yeah, it's so funny because it's just, like, they, 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 they know what works. In the 90s, it was the crazy motherfuckers you know, the Gracie challenge was out there and then the people coming in and literally tapping eight times until they realized, wait a minute, maybe there's something to this. Yeah, motherfucker, you just tapped eight times. You think that just happens by chance? It does not. It happens because someone fucked you up and they're so beyond what you understand that you thought it was a fluke eight fucking times. Yeah, so, I mean, like, you had the dojos challenging other dojos and fucking silly shit like that, and then, like, they would literally go in to the Gracies, and the Gracies would just wrap them up. You know, what's beautiful about that shit is it reminds me of two insects, man. When people are actually really fighting, like, like fighting as humans, so sorry, like, fighting as humans have, have conceptualized, like, I, it, it, it's like art to me, dude. Like, honestly, bro, it's literally, because, and there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, I, I understand it's violence, right? I understand, um, but like another thing too, it's also, it's also the most human thing you could ever do. Hi, heck a lot. And, and, and that's, and that's the absolute truth. Simmer, thank you for the lurk. That's the absolute truth. It's the, it's, first of all, it's one of the purest things you could ever do with another human being. Okay. But, but it's also, um, God, what did I say before I said it was the purest thing? Well, yeah, all that shit, right? I feel like it's like when two instincts fight, you know? Like, what's what's more pure than that? Oh, Joe, I'm also glad you're here. Um, I still retain my Shaolin status due to me refusing my sensei's demand. They lost their status? Oh, wow. All right, so check this out. Um, every time I think of this show, you've already... Uh, You've already, like, uh, 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 gone. And we had a conversation weeks ago, or months ago, about instinct. And, you know, you had studied quite a bit of it and so on and so forth. And I've come full circle with my argument, dude. I believe you're absolutely right. I believe everything, even if you can, like, talk yourself out of something, every single thing is tied into our human instinct. We can negotiate shit through our conscious and stuff like that. 
But even after that, and we like, let's say, talk ourselves out of doing like the the uh, 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 primal thing, you know what I mean? It's still there. It's all fucking instinct, dude. Like I get it, and it's a trick because it's 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 been allowing me to see things in a much different way, right? And we've talked about these things so on and so forth. But like, yeah. We're just animals that think we're better than every other animal because we're a little bit smarter. And my point is we're not too far removed from these animals, is my point. It's like to us, obviously, because there's a huge disparity in between a, an animal's intellectual level and a human being's intellectual level, right? I get that. But yeah, all fucking instinctual. Yeah, well, I mean... Joe, I kind of came to it on our own, on my own, and then I thought of our conversation, and I was like, I think I, I truly understand what he was trying to say because it's absolutely, it's absolutely true. Like we're still, we're so instinctual, and on the other side, relatively intelligent when it comes to animals, as far as we know, that we kind of like underestimate, overestimate ourselves, right? We're fucking animals, dude. And I know people say it, but I'm saying the way we act. This is what we don't realize. The way we act is that of an animal. You know what I mean? Like, like humans, one thing, but like, dude, the way we act is that of animals. And, and the trippy thing for me is, even though we are civilized people, you know, you notice it in business practice. You notice it in love. You notice it in war. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all fucking human, and it's all animal, and it's it's a trip, right? And then on the other side of things, like, how be, how amazing is it is that, that we have conceptual thought? No problem, buddy. How amazing is it that we have conceptual thought, we're able to love, we're able to process, we're able to reason? It's beautiful shit, but we're also, if you forgive the phrasing, dumb animals. We are. Forgive the phrasing, but we're dumb fucking animals. We are not that far removed from... Well, everything is connected, right? And that's another that's another aspect of the beauty of it, right? Considering we are all connected and we are all animals means, you know, hopefully maybe one day we'll be able to get past the fear that, you know, tribalism initially cast upon us and, and start reacting uh, to different people with love and curiosity instead of fear. I think that would be the ideal, right? I wonder if we're moving toward that slowly. I think we actually slowly are. I think human beings are fucked and shitty and so on and so forth. But I also think that, um, generally speaking, society has been improving. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I think. Um, just, just based on, even though we have leaps and bounds to go when it comes to like racism and tolerance and all that stuff, we are still making progress. And that makes me happy. Because all it is is fear, right? That's all racism is. It's just fucking fear. You're reacting off of the unknown. You're scared about it, so you want to lash out in anger. That's racism. But again, like, like realizing, like realizing people are different. Cultures are different. But embracing the differences is the fucking key. And like losing that fear, it's like, you know. Anyway, it's a process. Oh shit. Courtship, I feel, is similar in certain regards. What were we talking about? Because I love talking about courtship. Because I feel like I'm really good at it, and then apparently I'm not. Like, I'm a goof. I don't even know when a girl likes me, right? Unless I don't like her. It's got to be just, just fucking major insecurity, right? Like, I feel like, like literally blinded sometimes, right? Like, sometimes, if, if I'm not into a girl and she's into me, I still won't know. But, like, if a girl's into me and I don't like her, I probably will know. But if I, if I really like a girl and she really likes me, like, she'll have to be, like, filthy. I like you in a romantic way. And I'll be like, Because oh! I'm an idiot. I just don't know, dude. Like, yeah, she's been hanging out with me for three days, but maybe she just wants my friendship. I'm a boof. A boob. Between my training and schooling, I learned a lot about our instincts. Yep. Everything comes down to instincts, and martial arts are based on that. I know. Pretty fucking cool, dude. 
We're more complicated than than other animals, of course. But we are still animals. Well, what what I'm saying is is that 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 complexity, that disparity in complexity, has us as human beings leading us to believe that we are more far removed than other earthly animals than we actually are. Is what I'm saying. I love your fucking name. You made my night with just your name. Uh, what up, Peach Wicks? Women have to tell me. Liana, t Liana told me straight up to eat her butt, and I was like, does she actually like me? <laughs> I want my food on! Yo, dude, I'm Flarf McGarf. I love your fucking name, Flarf McGarf. Listen, will you do me a favor, please? I want to give you a gift, Flarf. All you need to do to procure said gift is type an exclamation point. Cash me in. All one word in the chat. God damn it. Itchy pain. I love you, itchy pain. Oh my god, I'll look better for you because that like, really fucking sucks. You know what the worst is about an itchy pain? It's when the like, urethra itches. Itchy pain. If it's your, if it's your urethra that's itching, I, I, I can't, I don't know what to tell you. I feel really bad for you because it's like sometimes like you're just chilling and you're like, ow! And your lady, if I even had a lady, your lady is like, what's wrong, sweetie? And you're like, my urethra got a pinch of pain in it. No, 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 18 and over, guys. Can we get, can we get the last? There you go. Look, look, look at, look at these guys. These are the, these are, <laughs> these are the paragons of intellect, ladies and gentlemen. No, no. The paragons of intellect. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. Itchy peen, itchy peen, and the other homie. Look, I'm gonna tell you something y'all already know. Okay, I mean, like you might not know this, but I'm gonna tell you something anyway that you should really think about because I really do believe this about you. I feel sorry for your piece of shit parents. Wait, what happened? What happened? <laughs> nah, pay no mind. They're literally like 11 years old that ha they, and they haven't experienced empathy, right? Like, that's why little kids like that. Like, there's some cool kids, but kids like that are... They don't know what it's like to, like, care for anyone else but themselves, so... Ho hopefully that gets better for them. They're, they're very... Yeah, I mean, come on. Who comes in here and does that? If, if you're over 30 and doing that, like, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. So let's hope that's not the case, Kai. Here you go, Ducky. Good shit, homie. Oh, I fucked us up there. Get in on that, my friend. <laughs> he was one of them, that's why. I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna waste my time on this kid. Yes, it's the best ever. Wait, it's, is there gonna be a Hidden Valley season two? I don't know just yet. Um, I think it's, oh, 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 that was so close. That was so close. Oh baby, yeah, give it to me one time. Um, I don't know, but you know what we are going to do, Simmer? You know what we are going to do, Simmer? There's <laughs> there's a show that I'm going to be producing. If, again, it's on the front page right there. It's called Law and Towarder. <laughs> Law and Towarder. Yes, Law and Towarder. Um, and it's going to be a crime drama with uh, Toe Puppets, yeah. Oh, Jesus, Chester. Thank you for being there. Uh-oh. Baby, baby! I fucked up. I should have been back there. That was my bad. I don't know why I jumped there. Nah, it was my bad, dude. I should have backed you up, dude. Troll orgies, on the other hand. Absolutamente. Clap your feet for me, Tucky, you piece of shit. Why are you fucking putting me on the spot? Yeah! 
<laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. No, no. Gave it right away like an asshole, my apologies. We'll get it, we'll get it. We'll get it, we'll get it. Nope, I got, I got, I got, I got. Thank you. I fucked up, I fucked us, but what can you do, right? Had to get it away from Boozy. Good save, brother. That's all you, homie. I'm waiting. Good shit. All right, good, good, good. How do you do that and initially go back to normal? Wait, what, what? Are you talking about my manic stuff? Nice shot, great pass, damn. Filthy, I am such a kung fu kick right now, I can't stop thinking about snake style. Dude, I wanna show you the shit that I came up with, bro. Hi, Christy Lynn, how are you doing, lady? It's good to see you, mama. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't, but I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Mr. Fiend, I, I, you have to be more specific. Because I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't keep up with, like, it goes a million miles an hour in here, so I can't, yeah. What, what happened to the Filthy Few podcast? So it's still there. Oh, the feet kick? <laughs> I'm just flexible, man. I'm just flexible. Um, it's still there. We actually have a scientist that I'm going to be interviewing. Not only a scientist, dude. Um, my buddy Chrono and I, he's, he's a very brilliant man. And I think we're going to be talking about transference of consciousness um, when the next time we're with him. But we'll see. Run. Jesus Christ. Oh, I just farted. I can't even believe that happened right there like that. There it is. And I fucking set him up for it, too. I'm so bad, dude. I'm so sorry. Jesus Christ, dude. Nah, that's me, homie. Oh, I'll do it. I'll play this with my feet behind my head, fiend. I'll play this shit with my feet behind my head. Would you like to see it? Should I? All right, next game. God damn it, Andreas. Next game, next game. Oh, no, 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 no. Good game, well played. I can't do the whole round, dude. I cannot do the whole round, but I'm gonna do it right now for you guys anyway. I can't do the whole round. But I'll give you guys what you want. I'm gonna put myself in the middle of the, of the, uh, of the screen real quick. And then we're gonna wrap it up. I appreciate you guys being here, dude. All right, let's do this. I think this is the right way, right? Are we good? I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do it for that long, you fucking shit asses. I was joking about the whole round thing. Okay, good. Ducky! Oh, man. You guys fucking suck, I asshole. Shit, I'm gonna be fart. Oh no, it's not. What happened to my gosh? <laughs> Fucking hate you guys, man. Fucking assholes. Wait, am I blue or red? Where am I? Who am I? Oh, I'm red. All right. Ow! Ah! 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 Yeah! Yeah!
<laughs> Why does that look comfortable? It's not. It's not. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with me, guys? What, what in fact is wrong with me? That was a nice pinch though. Never skip leg day, right? Jesus. Oh my gosh. I think I'm retiring. I think this is my last game. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, shit. Way to be there, Boozy. Look at that. Mm. Not bad, not bad. Nice shot. Oh, Stacy. The only thing wrong with you is the acid we all took before the stream, but there's nothing wrong with that! There's nothing wrong with that! Rubber guard, for sure. I'm, I'm gonna be, yeah. I, I honestly, Joe, I gotta be honest, dude. I kinda wanna, like, I, 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 I believe, here, here's, listen, here's the deal. If I, if I decide to, to pursue this thing and like, you know, you know, hobbies, dude, I'll, I'll go hard on them. You know what I mean? I've done it in the past, right? Nice shot, bud. But I'm confident if I got really good at jujitsu, considering my uncanny flexibility and my appreciation for things and just figuring things out, I, I've already, I've already made up a couple moves, believe it or not, dude. I, I actually have. Um, if someone has me, Yeah, if someone has me locked up in a triangle, I could take my leg and put it behind their neck and snap myself out of the triangle. That's a move. But anyway, even besides that, it, it, it like it's crazy shit. I remember I got I was I was I was sparring I was sparring with my buddy buddy uh, uh, Koji, and Koji's a professional like Muay Thai champion, right? Oh God, and uh, he was just getting into jujitsu like me as well. And I remember I fucking, I, I locked my leg over his shoulder like a like a, an Oma Plata, and I was going for a Goga Plata, right? So I had my shin in his fucking, in his neck, and I started doing a neck crank, right? And he started to like finagle his way out of it. So I put my other leg in front of him too, just to throw him off. He neck cranked me, I tapped, my coach is walking by, he goes, that's the first time I've ever seen anyone get tapped out in lotus position. I was like, yeah. But that's what I'm saying is like, I think I have a great potential. Like if I was to get good, I could probably make up new moves. So we'll see what happens, dude. For now, it's just like, if I go back, it's just about the basics and you know what I mean? Like getting, getting the basics really good positioning, just like Rocket League, dude. Cause if you've got your positioning for Rocket League, dude, you're gonna fucking dominate other fucking players even if your mechanics aren't that good. Same shit with jujitsu, right? You're not staying flat on your back. You're knowing how to move your hips. You know what I mean? All these things, right? I just had a thought. You and I sitting down to coffee and just randomly screeching at each other to release tension in public. I literally just fit my walk. You know it. <laughs> See, you know me, Christy. Like, that's totally something I would do with it. We'd be like, ah. <laughs> And people would be like, what the fuck? And we'd be like, yeah. You know me. You know me, lady. Are we on twos right now? I think we are. Okay, good shit. We got this boost. Sorry, I tried. And we got it, baby! Good pass! Oh! Eat my taco salad! I know! Christy, I'm fucking down. You were built for rubber guard. I did some butterfly in my day. Yeah, yeah, And I never, like, that's the thing. Like, that's why I was considering to, like, go to Eddie Bravo or something, because, like, isn't flexibility his shit? Like, I would want a coach that was just as flexible as me. 
Um, but I gotta tell you, these Gracie guys are really good. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to what they can teach. I, I asked them, Joe, I was like, you gotta do open mats here. <laughs> the coach was like, what the fuck? He was like, no, he was like, we used to. I was like, that's my kid. I wanna fight everybody in here, <laughs> even though I'll get my ass kicked. Dude, I'm like seething at the fucking teeth when I'm watching the training, bro. I just wanna roll. Let me bang, bro. Let me bang, bro. I want to bang. Out of context, I'll go hard on him. Yes. I did butterfly to gain position. I'm terrible at it, but we'll go for it. So, like, for my shit, like, I'm sure it would it would serve me well, like, for position and stuff like that. But I think with my flexibility, it would probably... It, I mean, negotiating position, I could definitely have it to my advantage. But I'm talking, like, finishing moves and shit. Isn't it true? My coach, my MMA coach told me that um, the triangle... We're going to do one more game, guys. My coach told me that the triangle was... Come, it had... had been co uh, conceptualized by a purple belt and I don't know if that's true but I believe him because he he was basically he, he trained with Hoyt's Gracie like they were like really tight um, during this shit and he was gonna fight but he got fucked up in training his training partner right before King in the Cage slammed him on his back and separated everything like what are you doing dude fuck if they don't know Butterfly, I'll win. I want to start learning all this shit, bro. I mean, fuck coming up with my own moves. Like, show me how to really capitalize on this uncanny flexibility for a fucking 45-year-old. 46. Good shit. Oh, close one, X. Good shit, bro. That's very close, sir. Very close. Good shit, homie. Damn it, Chester. Way to be there. I'm back, I'm back, I'm backing. That's what I'm talking about. Close one, bub. Close one. We got this. We got this. I was a little late, but that's okay. Good shit, brother. Sorry, X. I wanted to go for it so bad. Damn. It would have been good had my mechanics been good. That's you? Excellent. I'm gonna back you up here in a second. I'll be in mid by the time you're there. Why, Jester? What are you doing, Jester? Sorry, bad again, bad on me again. Not bad, not bad! Fucked him up a little bit, I'd say. That's all you, you got a little bit of time here. I'm gonna back you up here in a second. I'm in goal, that's you. Oh, that's what I need. That's what I needed, guys. Mm. Close, close, close. Oh, Jesus. That's all right. Oh, you don't. Here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm like. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me get, let me get, get ready. Close, close, close. 
I'm going all the way back. We get this defense. I gave it back to him. Sorry about that. We should be all right. Good shit. I'm behind. I'm waiting in the mid. Excellent. Uh, it, was, it was a tough one. I'm sorry about that. Fuck. I'm going go into the goal. Excellent. I'm still here. Still here. I'm waiting. I got 50. I'm getting this. Good shit. Good shit. It's all you. Take your time. Oh, Jesus. Good shit. Good shit. That's all you. Oh, Jesus. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Let's see what we got. I'm in goal, brother. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm going here. I'm going here. This is mine. I fucked up a little bit, or a lot, rather. That's it, that's it. Nice shot. You're good, brother. You played great. Are you kidding? A two on three against those fucking lokes, dude. Let's play another one, dude. What's it like to have a kid? Well, for me, I got my man card. Yes, you did. Uh, for me, um, he's he's the mo single most important thing to me. I'm I'm someone in a relationship. If it's if it's family or friends or romantic, I love hard, right? I'm not afraid to to, to tell people, show people that I love them, and so on and so forth. I'm a big fucking lover, okay? But that being said. I haven't loved anyone more than myself, and I've loved hard. I haven't loved anyone more than myself since my son came along, um, and it's awesome. And I, I just, for me, man, like, I, I just, if you're man enough to have a kid, you're man enough to man up, right? So it's like, look, I've got my faults, dude. I've been financially unstable most of my life. And, and, you know, and I, I hit some, like, good chunks of change, you know, through my talents, which is always a good sign. But, you know, like, I'm not... I don't know. I'm a bit of a wild one, and I've already... I've always banked on, on making it big in the industry through my talents and shit, right? Um, and so that brings me up to another thing with my child as well. I do my best to remove my ego. Um, guys, back out of the match. We're going to start a new one. Um, so, I, I, I believe when I'm raising my child, like, like, the secret to any great relationship, guys, platonic, familial, or romantic, is honesty and communication. The caveat to that is it's at least a two-way street for your polyams out there. It's at least a two-way street, right? And when you're dealing with a child, like, I'm, I'm, I'm big on that as well right but it's honestly it's pretty awesome like i have a particular situation where i'm not with the girl so um but i've had to be very patient for a long time and and we're good co-parents thank god you know we care about the kid most and, and that's what it is man i mean it's like you bring a child into the world like you should be willing to sacrifice everything you know and i would sacrifice everything for true love and that's what i have for him um, but it's pretty awesome. I gotta say, it's like, it definitely, it has its challenges, right? Like it, it definitely, it, it has its fucking challenges for sure. But, uh, I think every parent's gonna, I mean, most, most parents who care are gonna say it's worth it. But like, I mean, it, it, it really is for me, man. Like I, I just seeing him turn into the individual that he is, cause like, you know, we're, we're big on being classy and polite and, and um, respectful and like all that stuff. Like he's got a, he's got a good basis for this. His dad might light farts on fire on the internet, but, but by God, the kid is not allowed to curse yet. <laughs> anyway, that being said, it's like, like, so what's a trip for me is like, I'm someone that like wants meaningful relationships with people, right? Um, nice shot, dude, my bad. And um, 
so it's like you can only go so far when you're dealing with a with an infant like you love each other and so on and so forth but the communication is is going to have some debilitations right so it's like the older he gets at, 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 at seven like he's almost seven um it's just really cool like with his articulation and it's like i'll bring him something and it'll be like thank you and i like raised him that way and i'm like dude you're welcome man like it's just really, you know, it's great. Like, I, I, I believe in, in punishment, but uh, um, I think I think punishment can, can be done, like, communicatively. It doesn't have to be physical, right? I mean, I got my ass kicked as a kid, and that's not why I'm not doing it. I just come from the belief after experiencing a lot of things that, like, if I can't tell my kid, like, what to do or give him discipline, without being physical i don't personally for me i think i could be doing I, I i don't think i need to do that to do my job that's what i'm saying right i think i can teach my kid the same lessons without doing that right and apparently that's been true my girlfriend wants a kid and i don't because there's a lot of weird shit in this world and i'm like i'm trying my best to let my kids have the best life okay first of all how old are you that's important. And next, next, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Okay. Um, these are all important things. And I've been through a lot of like kind of similar situations, dude. And you definitely, you know, love is love. You're okay. So 20, you're 26. Okay. Um, are you head over heels in love with this girl? Can you tell me that? You also don't have to answer that. What is 16 days? Oh, you're 26 in 16 days? Or you've been going out with this girl for 16 days? Cause then... <laughs> you've been dating for 16 days? Bro. Genius. Genius, no! Do not have kids with this girl. Ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Listen, you heard it. Listen, God damn it, genius. I know you're having fun and everything's great. Don't ever have a kid with this chick. Because any chick that's going to have this kid after two weeks of knowing you, you don't want to have a fucking child with. I'm just saying, and I'm not trying to knock your lady or anything like that, but like legit, without a fucking doubt, that's a big red flag, dude. Citizen! I love you, dude. Look, you guys don't necessarily have to wait, but just realize, like, that's your life, dude. Like, literally, if you decide to have that kid because you're totally in love and so on and so forth, that's your life. And if it's not your life, you're a piece of shit for not taking care of your kid. It has to be your life, okay? People change. We learn things about people. Okay? Some people are very duplicitous and will have you thinking that they're not. You need to take your time here, dude. Please do not do that. Citizen, I love you, dude. How are you doing, bro? That was close. Um, and look, I'm not, look, we hardly know each other. And, um, but yeah, th those are some, some, some terrible, terrible red signs, dude. Red flags. And like, Look, man, I, look, I, I don't think I'm capable of taking care of a child, at least not at the moment. I want to wait and get married. And, and as well, you should, dude. Listen, I had Nitz. I love you, dude. Thank you for the rate. Look, I had my beautiful boy at what, 38 years old or 40 years old, 40, like 39 or 40 years old, 40 years old, dude. You know what fuck I mean? Fuck you, you fat, useless sack of fucking I love you, Yankee. Yankee. How was your stream? Shy. Fuck off, will you? Um, that intensity, that passion that, that she is giving out to you right now, it's, that's a dangerous thing, dude. Like, it feels good to be wanted and so on and so forth, right? But, but you do not, like, like, I mean, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you right now, based on what I think, bro, based on what I think, if you made that move with this particular girl, and I apologize if I'm sounding like I'm knocking her or whatever, but if you made that girl move with this particular girl, you would be in due for a life of fucking misery.
Because the chick who's been dating you for 16 days and wants to have your kid is not thinking right, homie. I'm sorry. Fuck off you, you fat, useless sack of fucking My kid is not 21, dude, without working shine. on tours, Fuck doing well in life. I love it. Build your life together, amen. Have a strong standing, good, healthy relationship, then bring a child into a secure home. Here's the thing, dude. I know about coming from unhealthy shit, right? Like, but but it is true. And I was telling someone this the other day. The healthier we get, guys, we crave, we crave other shit. Yeah, dude, hey, look, man. If you're my friend, I'll never candy coat shit for you. I'm a passionate person, so if it sounds like I'm like, ah, rah, that's just the way I am. But if I care about you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm, I'm gonna try to not harsh it up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try and not be like a dick about things, but like, yeah, dude, like you need to hear that shit, man. Um, I bet the sex is gonna be unbelievable. Just make sure, you know, cause someone like that's gonna poke a fucking hole in your condom, homie. I'm telling you, someone like that is going to poke, poke a fucking hole in your condom and you're gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. I, I don't know. I could. I hope she's not listening. But that's all the information I need with that, dude. Like, y'all have been dating for over two weeks. It's like, no. You don't want to have a kid with this person. Look, if you guys... Maybe you guys are so unbelievably infatuated with each other, so on and so forth, then do the smart thing and fucking wait. But my point is this. It doesn't sound like you're much of a factor in the consideration. She doesn't watch Twitch. And I'm not I'm not trying to like dog you out or anything, but it, it it feels like you're maybe not much of a consideration in this. And you gotta think about that as well. Have you also have you ever dealt with a pregnant woman, dude? You better make for damn sure that you wanna be with this fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't mean it in that respect. I meant just generally speaking, dude. I'm sorry. No, not her! <laughs> Not all preggies are bitches, I'm just saying. They, 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 you know, they get lost and stuff. I know, you were a sweet prego? I just haven't had the experience. <laughs> I've only had one experience in that regard. No, please, I misspoke, guys. I believe it, I believe it. The thing was, to be honest with you, the experience that I had, the person that I was with, had crazy hormone problems, like really crazy hormone issues. I'm not kidding. And it like fucked things up for her, like big time. That, that, that is the actual truth. So I, I, I only had a particular experience. But I, look, women, listen, I might sound misogynistic sometime, and I think sometimes I am misogynistic, but please just realize, I truly believe that you guys are, are the best of civilization because you bear our children. And that's a huge responsibility. Also, ladies, you, you, you sacrifice for nature. So I respect that and I respect you. And that's the truth. Um, God damn it, Simmer. I'm a lovable, cuddly, happy-go-lucky person, though. Uh, no PMs, no crappy panties. I'm a chill girl. I love that. Down to earth is good. Well, she said she wanted a kid at 24 and she's 23. And like, I've been contemplating whether or not I should be dating her. So it's just like, she seems like she got her life together, but she's also a little too rushy. Dude, that, that's not, that's like not being too rushy. That's like, I don't care. As long as there's a man in front of me, I want to have their child, which means I'm not considering that man, right? And you got to think about that because she's going, she is going to have your child. What does that mean? What does that mean if she has the kid and you can never see the kid and she breaks it off with you as well? Like, I'm sorry to be talking this way, but you've got to think about these things. That's why you've got to get to know know each other. And look, I'm an impulsive motherfucker. A fine girl shows interest in me. I'm like, let's go, let's date. You know? Like, seriously, dude. Like, a beautiful girl shows interest in me. I'm like fucking putty, dude. I'm fucked. But, you know, and I used to be, you know, quite impulsive as well. But that being said, like, I learned enough. Um... I learned enough to, you know, yeah, don't do that shit, homie. Get it, Jester. Now you said, what did I say? All I wanted was cuddles and an entire bag of strawberries a day. I swear, man. I gotta be honest with you, dude. Yeah, I, I, 
had a, you know, I had a fucked up experience when it came to the person being pregnant and stuff. I really, I really did. Like, not to make it about me, but in the respect where it is about me, I am that person. I am that nurturer. You know what I mean? You're having my baby. I want to spoil the fuck out of you and just treat you like a queen. But that's the thing I missed, you know, I, I, I never had that pyramid of love. I thought it was going to happen. I thought we were like that, but apparently we weren't. Tough situation, you know? The man lighting his own facts on fire, giving life advice nice. Bro, you have no, that's what I'm saying, Fiend. I'm glad you hung out because there's a big part of the stream that's like this, man. On, on, uh, on Tuesday, like I said, we definitely talk philosophy. But uh, it, it comes into mental health as well. And, and one thing I pride myself on on this show is it's, it's, it's part self-help. Fuck it, man. You know what I mean? I ain't got ploys, dude. I'm just someone who has a ton of life experience and wants to help people. Right? Like, that's, that's my jam. So it's like, if people come in here with shit, I want to help them out, right? That's a big part of the show, so... You don't know what philosophy is? Oh, wow. So philosophy is just like the big questions, right? Like, who am I? Why am I breathing? What is life? What if the sun exploded? Just like, just questions you can get really pretty deep on. Kind of. Nice shot, sir. When are we playing Mad vs. City? Not tonight, baby doll. If I'd have known I'd have made you putty, I might have stopped while I was in LA. Well, hey, LA is here, honey. Um, I myself wasn't a crazy prego, but I was around so many. I'm not sure how fucking crazy they were before they got preggers, but damn, jeez, yeah, dude. <sighs> yeah, it could be, it could be something else, dude. Like, really. But you know what? All that shit made me a better man. I fought for my child in a court of law. I destroyed two of the most prominent lawyers in Beverly Hills because I'm a smarty, so fuck them. Um... It was one of the hardest times in my life, not only because, you know, obviously emotionally, like, I, I love hard, you know what I mean? Like, if I love you, if you're my girl, dude, I don't know what to tell you, like, you know, I love fucking hard. Um, but, uh, you know, it gave me this wonderful child. It, 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 it led me on a journey to realize that I wasn't going to give up on my dreams of entertainment because that's what her family was telling me. They were like, dude, you need to give up. You need to give up on the acting and shit like that. And I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, you guys just don't know what it is to be an artist, dude. It's like, I can't, you know what I mean? Like, I would, look, when it came to my kid and the, and the well-being of my kid, if I had to give up acting or whatever I was passionate about, I would. I would. You just don't have to. You just have to work harder. Never give up. I never will give up, ever. I've been knocked down so many fucking times, dude. It's not how many times you get knocked down, my friend. It's how many times you get up. And that's an old cliche, but it's absolutely fucking true. Because this life is going to fucking tear you down and knock you the fuck down. And you got to just stand the fuck back up and be like, look... It's still beautiful. It's still beautiful. What up, Chocobo? If the suns floated on our faces, we'd be really tan. This is true. Aw, oh, I appreciate it. Well, it led me here, right? It led me here, and, 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 and I just wanted to do this to get social media following so I could plow back in the entertainment industry. Learn through failure, absolutely, dude. Like, I, that's why I don't, I, that's why failure to me is, uh, a contradiction in, in that respect, right? Because if we're learning, if we're learning from everything, then nothing is a failure, right? And I think that's the way we need to look at things. I get down and I get up again. That's a big one. Um, is this philosophy how we are slowly going to burn to death from the sun since the ozone layer is depleting? <laughs> I mean, yes, that would be philosophy, but that's also not the case. Um, I, 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 I am not sure what the deal is with ozone. I think it's still probably an issue um, in the north and stuff like that, right? But as far as, uh, I think that shit came from chlorofluorocarbons, and if I'm not mistaken, it might be being repaired, but I could be wrong. 
But what I'm, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is in that, re and I don't know, I could be wrong. But what I'm saying is in that regard, um, I think we have bigger fish to fry when it comes to environment and stuff. I could be wrong. Oh, son of a bitch. I gave him right to him. Fight the good fight. Always, dude. It's harder to be a, it's harder to be a, a, a good person, I think, dude. I think it's a lot harder to be a good person than it is a, a just a shit bag who's just self-consumed and doesn't really give a fuck about others and so on and so forth. Tough something. What the fuck, dude? And <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Dubs? I don't even know what that is. Um... <laughs> I thought if the ozone layer burns up, we are going to get a little crispy. Um, I don't know what exactly would happen, but I would theorize if the ozone layer burned up, that is exactly what would happen. I think it would probably, I think it would probably like, like, you know, figuratively like burn us up. Yes, I, I do believe that would happen. Um, I don't know, you know, look, I know, I know, I know one thing. Yeah, mansion, come on in, dude, for sure. Yep, it is to a degree, but the hole itself has moved and is now sitting above the Antarctic. Yeah, so I, I, I imagined it was already above the Antarctic, but I would also imagine that it wasn't just one hole, right? Like, I'm sure there's a lot of different holes is what's happening. <laughs> God damn it, Jester, you idiot. Oh, I see you, dude. I see you, Ducky. Very nice. Very nice. Close one, Silver. That was a close one. Nice shot. Oh, I love every hole. Apparently, baby, gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, but coffee, Greenpeace, like, kind of goes off on the deep end sometimes, man. That's what makes it bad. Um... Like, when they do all that crazy shit, like PETA and Greenpeace, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm down with, like, the Save the Oceans and shit like that, but, like, don't attack, like, ships and stuff like that. Like, that's not the way. And you can tell it's not the way because it hasn't worked, right? I think I'm just going to put my, uh, my grandma up for adoption. I'll adopt her. No, I won't. Why are you putting your granny up for adoption? I heard that. I heard that about your granny, Dubs. I heard that about your granny. I shouldn't have left the shit there. Wow. Nice shot, homie. That's good shit. We're about to have a game, folks. We got some fucking heads up in here. There's a preacher that is accusing women in his church of being witches, and she's trying to get a group of women to go attend his church and dress as witches. <laughs> That's awesome. Good for grandma. Nice shot, dude. Good for grandma. That's rad. All of her little gray hair friends are down. I believe it, dude. Grandma's a rebel, Rachel. Grandma's a rebel. I love it. There was a case where a ship was... Uh, Trawling illegal and GP fucked them with the maritime law. Good. That's good shit. That's what I'm saying. Like that, that, that should all be done. Like, but it's like when you take vigilanteism into it, like you're fucking up your cause, dude. I'm sorry. You are. I mean, if you just want, you know, the attention and stuff like that's one thing, but you join them. Well, if they were doing the fucked up shit like that, right? But it's like. I'm talking about they don't really, from what I've seen and from what I've heard, a lot of times they don't take into account the collateral damage. And like, you know, like you gotta take into account the collateral damage, right? I mean, it's like, you know, the, the, the bottom line is, you know, uh, uh, no matter how you feel, like animals are not more important than human beings. Human beings do more shitty stuff. Like, I get it. But the people who, tr who like are like, 
No, animals first because we're just a disease and stuff like that. It's kind of like, all right, well, no. Can I live in the middle of the ocean and just jerk off? No one can stop me, no laws. It's true, you're in, you're in, you're in international theming waters. It's what high up at the flare. It's like motherfuckers who leave millions of dollars to their cats. It's like, you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. Like, that's all you are. Like, yeah, you're fucking crazy, but you're also a piece of shit. Like, you could have probably killed him. Kurt cured some children that were dealing with shit. Like, you, you left three million dollars to Miss fucking Molly. And I hope your cat fucking bloats and fucking explodes promptly. Just saying, I love kitties and dogs, but I'm just saying, cats being exploding if they're getting paid millions. Explode that little shit. I support her as well. However, she is 90 and should be baking pies and making quilts. Fuck that. That that gives her that gives her uh, that gives her zest. This is awesome. It's a different faction to the U.S. one, and yes, they disagreed with some of the tactics used by some of the overseas faction. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like, like for the most part, I think they're chill, they're good, but it's like, you know, when you have these people that are like fucking acting like terrorists, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not, this is what I'm saying, and this is what's infuriating. It's no longer about the cause. It's about them and, 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 and how they are achieving as human beings. It's all about them. It's not about the cause anymore. And those kind of people make it about themselves, which is very distressing. And it's it's in it's everywhere. Like when you're when you're talking about these things, it's everywhere, right? People will always exploit these issues for their own gain, gain, and 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 think that they're actually wait. No, I'm doing this for the issue. You're not. You made it about yourself a long time ago. Nice shot, Mansion. She doesn't make quilts, however, she auctions them off for women's shelters. Dude, your grandma sounds awesome. Yep, and we've had people kicked out of from the New, New Zealand one because of things like that. Good, good, good. And I and, and, and I get it. it it's it, I get it. Like, it would make sense that it's just kind of like, it's not the regular thing. I think PETA is a different story, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think PETA kind of, like, encourages that kind of shit. And did you guys know they euthanize more fucking animals than everybody else they complain about, basically? It's just crazy, you know? People really fuck issues up, man. Alright, last game, guys. PETA is like Scientology, right? They use animals to make PETAs. So like, so like, here's the thing, like, that's the thing, I'm all for, I love animals, dude, you know what I mean? Like, like, yes, no one should be abusing animals, God forbid. Um, but again, like, it's just crazy. Oh, Chester. Nice, dude. Good shit, Ducky. Mm. Just make a good Jiro with that. Uh, 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 what is it? A Euro? It's a Euro, isn't it? Just make a good Euro with it. No shit, dude. Oh, citizen, dude. I need to talk to you, bro. Um, you know what, I'm just, I, I brought it up last night, um, but I gotta talk to you, so I don't know if you're familiar with um, a, like, kind of this thing called the back rooms at all, um, but there's a, uh, there's a, a brilliant young filmmaker who, who just did uh, a production of the back rooms on the internet, and I don't know if you know what it is, but it's really good, and it's really well done. And it got me thinking, yo, Mr. Arthurs, dude. Happy 11 months, dude. Thank you so much. How are you doing? That means the world. Thank you so much. Well, you should check it out. You should check it out because it's an On interesting a much concept. Note, Jester, 
Happy 11 month. Happy Hand 11. Hand-waving party popper. Nah, I love you, man. Thank you so much, dude. How are you doing? Mr. Arthur. Wow. That means a lot, dude. Thank you so much. So anyway, I, 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 I talked I talked in the past about like like Dead by Daylight and like doing something like where it's like, oh, we do Dead by Daylight live, right? And we have the biggest bidder bid on... Did I talk to you about this kind of stuff? Where it's it's like, you know, you're, you're giving people the, the illusion of infinite choice. And you're, um, you know, we're using something like the Dead by Daylight warehouse or something like that. Highest bidder bids, and then the streamer makes his choice, right? So it's totally interactive, right? I want you to do me a favor. I want you to look up the back rooms because... I think I was just, I just came to information that it's actually a computer program that they used it for. And it looks like handheld. It looks like someone is in there doing this thing. And I don't think that's the case. I think they just, they used computer, maybe it was Blender or some shit like that. I don't know. But I would be interested to know from you, like, if you know how they did it. Have it up looking at it now. Okay, great. Now, here's the thing. I, I, and you know what? Take your time because they... He's 16 years old, Citizen. A kid 16 years old made this, and I think it's quite good. I also believe I could do something really good in this capacity. But I'll explain the whole genre and stuff like that, because it came from like an old like 4chan post or some shit. Uh, but watch the movie, I think you'll like it. You might want to mute me, dude, um, because it, it is that good. And like, God bless this kid, man, seriously. I think it's awesome. It, that's exactly what it is, citizen. So I want you to also look up the back rooms on um, look up the back rooms wiki or some shit like that, and it'll tell you a couple things. It's very interesting. It's a very interesting premise. But I wanted to pick your brain because now knowing that he didn't shoot it practically and maybe he used Blender or whatever the fuck it is, I don't know what he used to make it like camera shake and found footage, like he did really well. But I'm kind of curious as to what he did because if he did use these computer things, I might be able to come up with an idea that's really fucking dank. Like really fucking dank. It is, it's all liminal spaces. That's that's what it is. That's what the whole premise is, is that you no clip and get you get fucking zapped into this, you know, building with a series of rooms and such yeah also there was a discussion that came up the other day which is worse using animal skins leather to make a jacket that can last 60 years or using synthetic materials that rip and wear out in five years and never break down in the environment exactly like all these things right but that's also what is that called again in business guys where they make something to break i forget what it is called but what a what a shitty fucking practice I occasionally use an After Effects plugin that attaches to the camera and provides realistic handheld movements. Oh, cool. Human skin more durable. Fair enough. Oh, nice shot. Oh my god, dude. Look at that shit, dude. That's just, that's nuts. Guys, uh, Tuesday nights we do a philosophy stream where we play Rocket League like this, except we banter pretty heavily about space, science, psychology, lots of shit. It's not consumerism, it's something else consumerism, coffee, but you're close. Consumerism is in the word. Planned obsolescence, you're right. It's planned obsolescence is actually what it is. Uh, so yeah, that planned obsolescence shit is just, that's no good either, but it's like, what 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 can be done? I, I, I have a feeling that certain things could be done with that shit. All right, I'm gonna dodge out of the Rocket League. I might play with y'all a little bit later. <laughs> I know Mansion was looking for partners. <laughs> Mansion don't want me. He don't want me. All right, listen. I fucking love you guys, and I appreciate all the love and just you guys being here, man. You guys are extremely important to me, and I love you very much. And I thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Um, I I, I don't know, man. I I hope I ho I hope this stream gets more and more entertaining for you guys. I hope the stream gets more and more entertaining for you guys. And I'm working very heavily on that and very hard on that. And uh, again, I hope one day, like you guys log into the stream and you're like, oh my God, it's so different every night. That's what I want. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm getting off right now. I might I might hop on Rocket League in a little bit, though. The Ewoks appreciate you, too. I love you guys, man. Much love to you, Christy Lynn. Um, yes, so I will be back on tomorrow night. Tuesday, we have a philosophy stream. We do a lot of different things in here. I'm producing more sketches that are coming your way. Um, I might even get this new one done tomorrow, so we'll see. But either way, if you guys wouldn't mind sticking for the raid, it makes me look good. It makes the person who are raiding feel really, really good. Just putting it out there, that would be, I'd be very appreciative of that. I'll find out who we're going to raid. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, all right. <laughs>